Three, two, one. All right. Welcome to the Osiris Podcast. I am Mint Mad Cow. What's going on, boys? Rakes, as always. And hello, it's me, Rice Cub. And today we have the famous RuneScape historian, Mr. Carlo Nello, here with us today. First time ever. Very excited to hear about uh, his work, uh, some of his uh, struggles lately in order to get back to working with his hands and uh, just talk about RuneScape history, you know, because he's got it all. This man's archived a lot of stuff, so we're going to talk about his behind the scenes and learn more about the history of RuneScape. It's going to be sick. But yeah, welcome. Thank you, thank you. Oh, well, yeah. To start this off, man, where does the name, he said Colonello, Co, Colonello, Colonello, Co, yeah. Colonello, where did yeah, that come yeah. from, man? So, back in middle school, I was definitely a bit of a weeb. Uh, I was very, very into anime. and um, Still, tell me you still are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a, a little still. Uh, my girlfriend's getting me back into it. Um, mm -hmm. I've been watching a ton of Studio Ghibli lately. But um, let's go, let's go. Um, it's from this anime called Katekyo Hitman Reborn. Oh shit! And, yeah, and I if got you know, the yeah. name because they did a uh, Jagex did a name release back in the day. I think it was like 2013 or something. And my my previous name was just a bunch of like random letters and numbers. It was not a name for YouTube. So I I was searching for like, oh, what's a cool name that I could pick? And I remember this character and I was like, yeah, yeah, that's cool. Um, and it just so happened to be free. And I didn't even I didn't even really like the character all that much. It was just the name looked cool and it was available. So I, I picked it. <laughs> was uh, was that the anime where the baby's a hitman? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> ah, dude, that's a fever dream, bro. Okay. Right. I, I, I know it's what you're crazy. talking about. I know. I heard rumors of a remake because they never actually adapted the full like story. Yeah. <laughs> I was so mad. They never finished it. <laughs> well, yeah, the only thing that needs to be too. remade is Hunter x Hunter, bro. That's all I want to <laughs> see getting started back up. There's too many damn remakes <laughs> nowadays, dude. Dude. This podcast is like two minutes in. It's already all about anime. I know. So. I know. <laughs> we even have Mr. Bro. Nello. Let's, let's bring Nello, it back bro. on the track. So <laughs> here, here's a question. So obviously mm. with your RuneScape channel, we kind of discussed it beforehand. You're kind of like a RuneScape historian because you mostly cover historical pasts in RuneScape. Um, so naturally, how long have you actually been playing the game yourself? When did you first discover the game? What's your history? So... I, I get a bit of hate for this um, from viewers when they find out, but I started in 2008, right after HD. So, I don't know, a lot of people will comment, they're like, how do you know anything about RuneScape history if you started after the golden years? And I'm like, nobody nobody alive today was in World War II, but they still make World War II documentaries all the time. <laughs> sure. um, yeah. But yeah, I started in 2008. I I first got introduced to it at a friend's house. One of my other friends had introduced him to it and i just i watched him i specifically remember he was just like walking around in varrock for like two or three hours just doing what you do when you don't know what to do on runescape like brand new to the game and i immediately went home and i was like mom i, I need to <laughs> i need to get on the computer and play this game right now <laughs> that's awesome so it is like history as a whole just something that you're generally interested in or is it just the runescape history um, I'd say generally history was always one of my better subjects. Like um, when I was a kid, I, I went through like an Egypt phase. So TOA is really cool. I love that that update. Um, and then I went through a bit of like a Titanic phase. So I've always just sort of had like a hyper fixation on certain parts of history. And yeah. I guess RuneScape sort of became that when, when I started YouTube. Mm -hmm. Is there anything so, else that you're hyper fixated on history wise or is it just RuneScape? Um, Nowadays. Late Lately, I'd say like watches. Watches have been something I found really cool. Just like okay, oh, the fact dude, that hundred years man. ago, yeah, yeah, oh, dude. Have you got, have you got like a safe filled of Rolexes behind you or something? <laughs> like how <laughs> how deep does this rabbit hole go? I do. Oh, I wait, do. You have actually like do. Play box. Yeah. No oh, way, so, dude. Can you show us something? Show us like your prize yeah. jewel. Show us. I'll, something. I'll I'll show all you right, right, see, right now. You keep oh, your dang, Pokemon cards one. in your closet, right all right? Oh. We're not showing off everything, <laughs> Rexy. So, you, know, you, you better not show off your cards. I'm not. I won't. <laughs> Do you, uh, just Pokemon? Or are you in Magic too? Uh, I play Magic a little yeah. bit. Uh, so I've, I think I've got like four Commander decks. That's all I have. Mm, don't don't get like the rest of the Yeah, it's a great game. It's super fun. Like, oh yeah, I had a blast playing it. 
Yeah. Well, I'll show you guys what I have on. It's um. So it's like a, it's a pretty little known brand. I don't think it's going to focus. It's called like a Norcane and it's like this Swiss, Swiss made, Swiss made watch um, that I saw one day in this jewelry store. And it, it was like way out of my price range. I was like, I'm not ever going to own that. Um, and then YouTube started, sort of started to pick up for me. And I was like, you know what? I may as well buy myself something nice to remember it. And I was like, when I hit a hundred K, I was like, all right, it's, it's time. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Treat yourself, man. Yeah. Yeah. Once in a while, man. Dude, yeah. I, I completely understand because my um my wife's dad's massively into watches. I've never mm. cared about watches in my life. And then yeah. one day I get speaking to him and he starts telling me about, you know, all of the watches, all of like the intricate details, how long they get take like take to be made and stuff like that. And then there right. was just a period of like six months where I was just obsessed with watches. And I didn't go down the rabbit hole of like picking up really expensive ones. I've got like two Seikos and like a G-Shock, mm. so the inexpensive side of it. But I, I totally get it. I, I can see how yeah. you can like you can get into it as a as a hobby. And they are lovely pieces of art in some ways. Like you know, oh for especially, sure. Especially like you know, if something takes months and months for some human being to put together and make, like the craftsmanship is top tier. Yeah, it's like a sure. samurai sword in a way. You just kind of respect it. You don't yeah, use right. it. You never use a watch. Who who use who checks the exactly. time? You use a sword. But you respect how well made they are, right? Right. Half the yeah. time it's not even set. I'm like, oh, I gotta check my phone. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah. Or at exactly. some point the uh, battery runs out and you're kind of over it. Mm. So you're just like, I'll wear it because it looks good. <laughs> you know. That's, right. That's it. Yeah. It's just jewelry at that point. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Just, so random, a little bit random, but on topic. Um, how is the secondhand? watch market doing right now because i know it boomed during covid right it went crazy i heard prices it's, are down but i don't know much it's going down pretty hard um which is a good thing um because it's like rolex i was sort of turned off by for a little bit because it in order to get one you'd have to go into their dealer and basically just suck up to them and just be like to get the watch you want you have to spend like five ten grand and other watches you don't even want and even then they might be like, oh, two year wait, we'll put you on the waiting list. And if you're lucky, you'll get the call for it. And now it's finally going down and they're sort of clamoring again to be like, oh, yeah, we have we have stuff in stock. Just come on in. <laughs> oh, my oh, God. Dude. That's yeah. crazy. Hitting, bro. They have such a <laughs> exactly. That's crazy. Wait, so so I, I don't know much, but I know that the Rolex Daytona is like one of the most sought after watches. It, right. Is that now just freely available or is that still kind of like? Club that's members. still hard to get yeah okay. it's anything gold precious metal you can almost always get within within a month um most of the stainless steel models are still a little hard to get because they're on the cheaper end so more people want them um the daytona i think is still still the most sought after it's still like a little ridiculously priced which yeah. is it's kind of crazy because they used to sell those in like costco on discount because nobody wanted them, but now they're the hype model, so oh, <laughs> it is what it is. Yeah, it happens, man. Shit. Yeah. All right. Well, now that we've cleared up the, uh, you know, the watches. Um, what about your favorite things to do when you started getting into RuneScape? So I, I think I, I think actually I don't know too much about yeah your RuneScape kind of like progression right in the game. So like, what were some of the activities that you you mostly focused on when you did so, play, when you were playing a lot back then? I specifically remember not the stronghold of security, but the stronghold of like uh, it was something weird. Not player support, but like stronghold was it the prison of one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. With the cockroaches, yeah, in yeah, it. yeah I yeah, would yeah. spend a lot of time there. Um, yeah. A lot of I wood cutting. I remember was my first ninety nine. It got to the point where I was wood cutting so much, my dad would walk by the computer and he's like, "Are you chopping wood, son?" And I'd be like, "Yeah, dad." <laughs> <laughs> Oh, um, and then um, I was very much a noob like I never got to the sort of higher level stuff so around the history of like 2011 2012 I sort of start to struggle a bit because I was very much still a noob then I was like it was like I was playing like 2006 but in 2012 you know uh -huh. um, and not to fast forward too much but it was the same way with old school I was very much the guy that was walking around and like dragon chain body and like dragon plate legs and all the uh, obsidian cape because i couldn't get a fire cape um 
<laughs> all that type of stuff. And then a couple years back, I finally, I'd say like five years ago, I finally sort of figured out how to actually play the game. And it's been doing the high level content is, is probably my favorite thing to yeah. do these days. Yo, I, so if you guys didn't know, obviously you didn't, but like uh, when when TwitchCon happened, uh, me, Mint, and uh, Mr. Nello was, was at the same like event, like the Crusader event. And so he was telling me about like uh, him getting getting back well, like starting PVM, like real bossing and stuff. So, so it's it's you're you're now at like the end stage, right? Like the end stuff, right? Right. So yeah, I I got my infernal cape a couple years ago, and yeah. it's that was probably my biggest achievement. I was like, I've I've done it. That's uh, the game right there. <laughs> yeah, shit. That's game it. But you've done like yeah. pretty much every content since, right? Like a bit of everything. Yes, I've started playing an Iron Man now, so I've sort of fallen off a little bit on the higher level stuff. But for the most part, I try and do everything when it comes out. Dude, that's that's awesome. So I so I only know of your main channel, so right. I know that it's mostly like lore, history, and just like random video facts. I didn't even know you still played the game, to be honest. So do you upload content on gameplay, or is it just strictly for fun? It's, yeah, I pretty much, I'll do the history stuff for work, and then after work, I I stay logged into RuneScape, and I play my Iron Man and go do something. It's, That's I'm awesome. I'm very much a one-game type of person. I'm, I'm in a very committed relationship with RuneScape. <laughs> um, <Yeah>. <laughs> it's, mm -hmm. I, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I, I just, I still love it all these years later. That's yeah. pretty cool. I have think you, have you way... ever thought about uploading, like, play in the game or videos on like the actual content itself or i i've always thought about it um it's a little bit of combination of i can't quite come up with an idea that i feel like i can stick with and then mm -hmm. also a little bit of that fear that i'm like what if nobody watches this but <laughs> I'm, I'm a little bit getting over that um ideally i wish jagex would reopen runescape classic and i could just do like a series there because that's I feel like that's something most people don't know about, and Classic is so weird, <laughs> and yeah. that would be a fun way to share it, you know? Yeah. So, s speaking of Classic, actually, I, I think it was, like, this week, uh, Rendy uploaded a video that was right. on a RuneScape Classic, like, private server, and this is the first time I've thought this out, li like, spoken my thoughts out loud. I was thinking when I clicked on the video, I was like, I wonder how Jagex are sitting with this, because usually they have, mm -hmm. like, a zero, you know, like, they don't they don't let content creators play on private servers or otherwise it's like game over for you. Um, right. It, so I've seen a few videos on that server though. Have Jagex like made a stand and made a statement about it or? So I reached out to Jagex about two or three years ago and wanted to do a series on that exact server. And mm -hmm. maybe that was my mistake trying to, trying to go through Jagex, you know, cause they, <laughs> they were, of yeah. course we're like, no, no, that's, we're not cool <laughs> with that. But I kind of doubt they're going to go after him. Like they, uh, I feel like with Randy, there's, they've already had so much like public beef yeah. with him. <laughs> as yeah, weird as that yeah. is to say. Agreed. So I'm, I don't know. I, I wish I had the balls to just go for it like that, you know, like that's, Dude, it reminds me of that of that saying, which is, what is it? It's like, don't ask for permission, but beg for forgiveness. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you get from Trump or something, dude? That sounds iconic. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> but, but the thing is, they, they, like, stopped RuneScape Classic. Like, they closed it completely. Right. Yeah. That's what's so frustrating. Yeah. It's, it's like, they don't even, like... the game's not even there anymore, and they're still like, nah, don't yeah. do that. <laughs> yeah. I, I'd love to know, like, if people are actually being, like, sort of given warnings for making content on that because i found a uh, a world of warcraft server recently of a guy mm. who had basically made runescape but in world of warcraft but why it was like yeah it was really cool the graphics okay. were awesome I, I got in contact with the guy and i was just like when i was mid talk with him i was thinking I feel like Jagex are gonna crucify me if I make a video on yeah. this server. I'm like, I don't know if I can do this. I was like, I think I'm gonna have to speak to someone at Jagex first, but I already know it's probably gonna be like, yep, yeah, don't touch it. Don't, Dude, if, don't touch that game. If they would just rent out servers and give people admin privileges so they could create their, you know, Gary Mod Minecraft-like servers, they wouldn't right. even have this problem, bro. It would be like so fun for people to own a, own a server, 2,000 people, 
and just who knows what the rules are, tournaments, high scores. Dude, they would thrive. They could Dude. charge money. Oh, my God. It, It'd be if such they, a great business. If and when they possibly do that, mm. I would definitely do it. And I'd make some PvP mini games um, and just try to yes. get people into it and see if people enjoy it. Because at the end of the day, it's like, yeah. you know, the, the game League of Legends, like that was literally made in... Um, was it Warcraft Free or like one of the War Warcraft oh, no. games? But it was mm. so. What basically happened was, in that game, they made it so you had like freedom to create your own games, and they effectively made like League of Legends slash Dota. I think Dota was like the first, and then League yeah. of Legends came after. Um, and then obviously it became its own gaming genre, but it was all created within that game itself, and then just like popped out of there and became huge. <laughs> right. So yeah. they were originally going to do that with classic. There's old posts from kind of right before old school came out, I think, where they were like, there was Mod Mark Gerhard, the CEO at the time, and he was like, yeah, this, we're going to give you all classic, your own classic private servers, and you can do whatever you want with them. Um, and they ended up not doing that. They just reopened it to the public for a month again and then closed it. And it was, there's a lot of I feel like a lot of hype around it, but they they for some reason just didn't go for it. Yeah. Well, I mean, I wonder what the effects would actually be on the main game, because mm. I, I imagine some people might assume that if they make it so people can have their own private servers, then nobody's gonna play the main game. But I think that's probably quite far from the truth because sure you can have your own game and you can spawn yourself full Torva Scythes and stuff, but if there's no one to play it with, is there really much point? I guess. Right. I mean, yeah. So you I, look at Roblox, you look at Gary's Mod, you look at all these games that are just like that, where you create your own servers and they're flourishing, dude. They're yeah. actually like Honestly, Fortnite even has this stuff and it's doing well. And Fortnite's huge. So you think that wouldn't lose any of their viewer base, but nah, it just keeps growing. So I, I don't yeah. think we'd shrink at all. Like, I think if anything, it would yeah, just games like up. Things, Games like Minecraft, right? Where, you know, people can kind of just control how they make the game right it's like it it seems to because like i remember it was popular and then it kind of wasn't popular and then people just like created series where they like modded the game or something right in a different way and then it all blew up again because like one guy oh, yeah, did it and then every yeah yeah so mm -hmm. so i mean i feel like you know runescape is one of those it is a sandboxy game so and like the assets and stuff are very easy to like manipulate if you're given the you know the ability to and i think people could come up with some crazy fun stuff little oh, yeah, you know bro. side Imagine series and stuff. server dude you just spawn on karamja that's it <laughs> <laughs> but, but, like, right. but not just that like you can create your own thing right like a create a whole, yeah. whole new area or whatever True. using like yeah. models mm. and shit and and you know that kind of stuff did, did you guys play any private yeah. servers back in the day for runescape I yeah. tried, but I can't. I didn't yeah. get dirty bastards. I couldn't do it. You're all yeah. going <laughs> RuneScape well, jail. It didn't bro, even let me, dude. To do, man? I tried to like, play no, Multiscape, but I couldn't. When Jagex turned RuneScape into World of Warcraft, I'm gonna yeah. go and play. I'm gonna go and play RuneScape, but on a different oh. website. Like dude. it is yeah. what it is. Dude. No, like I want to share some of these stories because it, it's like when you talk about RuneScape private servers. I don't play it at all now. At all. I don't mm. touch them. I'm too scared to download stuff on my computer. Back then, I you know I had like 40 key loggers. My RuneScape account kept getting wiped every two months <laughs> for some reason start at Lumbridge. so but back in the day when runescape turned to eoc there was nothing to do they there was runescape wasn't even almost runescape it was completely different so we just yeah. the army of, of runescapers just found these private servers like you were saying mopar and just to share some of these stories because like when can you it's such a random topic uh I, I can't remember there's a couple servers but one me and my friend found and I, like i said i don't play them anymore but don't they'd have me. these adamant items, right? And for some reason on this server, it was all white armor. And if you had white armor on, you would just have boosted stats. But you would get banned <laughs> if they saw your PK with it. But we would just switch on white gloves every time we would DDS spec. So we'd just time it right to where we pop them on and just go 2040, and it would just max people out, right? It's like a thousand strength. <laughs> but my friend put them on too early and just one hit a mod <laughs> and got insta banned, bro. So That's it's so just stupid. like stories like that yeah, or so um, my friend ran his own server once and he got we were just messing around and he invited uh, one of his other friends and his other friend was being an asshole at the time and didn't know we were admins so we would give him like an hour to build up his stuff and just spawn him in and kill him <laughs> like he would just and we did it like four times and he wouldn't talk to us for like five months but 
God, those, you were, know, the, that's those were the time, yeah. I don't know if you guys have any stupid stories like that. My I, only I story, definitely do. Uh, my only story was me trying to log into Morperscape because my friends in school were playing it, but I didn't get it to work, so I gave up. You know, that was it. Like, dude, it, it was, was Mopar too hard, man. Was, too long do you remember? In. It was, it was, dude. If I'm remembering correctly, this was way back <laughs> in the early 2000s. It was like yeah. two Mustangs facing you. Yeah, that, that was the login screen. I, I tried to. You log guys in. remember that? Because some of these fucking downloads, they'd have a song playing, right? It wouldn't be the RuneScape theme. And there was one where it was like 50 Cent Lollipops. It was like Lollipops. Yo. Lolli oh, Do you remember dude. that shit? It's like buried oh, in my yeah. mind, dude. I can't remember what that from, but I love that I, song just because it's always on. Yeah, you had Mopar, some this new. It, it oh, was yeah. really quite difficult to get Moparscape to work because I never understood it either. Every yeah, time I'd log in, it would just be a fresh account. It'd spawn a thousand blue party hats, walk around in full dragon, and then I'd be like, there's nobody here. But if I remember correctly, you had to get like an almost like an IP address that you posted into the um, the login or something, if I yeah. remember it correctly, and then it would get you into an actual server. And yeah, it was quite difficult. Like there was a Dude, barrier. I was too to dumb for sure. that, bro. I was too dumb <laughs> for that. <laughs> yeah. oh. So I actually i don't think i've ever said this before but i technically hosted a private server for a little bit as a child <laughs> i was like <laughs> you know i was like it's like 11 or 12 and i downloaded people used to post like their own downloads for custom servers that you could build off of and i i didn't know how to code i didn't really know what i was doing i knew how to make basic changes so i downloaded one and i was like this looks pretty good i put a couple of npcs in edfil and i I recorded myself walking around. I'm like, I'm the owner of this server and it's going to be so cool, you guys. <laughs> and you should totally come join it. And I upload the video to YouTube and it actually kind of gets crazy numbers for a little bit. I think it got to like 10,000 views by the end of the week. Oh, and th damn. there was no, the server was not built for that. I don't know if you guys have ever used Hamachi, but it was like, built in with that where it was like you had to join the server only 10 people could join at a time <laughs> um but jackx didn't care because yeah. they copyright striked me for it <laughs> oh my god you already had a and run that, with jmods damn yeah that was the end of my private server adventure it didn't go very far <laughs> but, but that's crazy that's crazy though you already like knew about youtube that way back then oh i yeah i loved youtube as a kid like that's crazy like smosh smosh yeah. i could yeah, yeah, watch their too, stuff all day so you already had experience though with like you know uploading videos on youtube at that point and stuff like uh, kind of like i think this is still part of like your biography i guess but like how how it was the timeline you know of your youtube journey right because you, you went as right. far as to upload advertisement on your private server back in, when you were a kid but how did that lead to the runescape historian you you know of today so i started off i had my mom make me a youtube channel uh, because I, I wasn't allowed to have an email um, as a kid. So she makes me this YouTube channel. I just upload random stuff to it, like me running around in the backyard with my dog. And there's a video of me like throwing snowballs at someone at the Grand Exchange. <laughs> um, and that never got very far. I got to like 90 something subscribers and eventually moved on to a Minecraft channel. And I was like a Minecraft YouTuber for a little bit. Dang. And that didn't get very far either. Um, and then late high school... I don't even remember why I started my current channel, but I was just getting really into RuneScape again, and I really liked Moat Plox's videos back then. Like, oh, he yeah. was, like, the the old school... Guy, I guess the yeah. old school guy for a minute. Um, and I didn't want to copy him exactly, and I was still sort of a RuneScape 3 player. So I was like, oh, I'll do top 10s in RuneScape 3. Um and eventually he quit and i was like i don't feel guilty doing old school anymore and i i made the switch wow that's, that's crazy. long story short how i am here today <laughs> yeah but okay so so you want to talk about this big project you've been doing right it's like um you can call it archiving right so it makes a lot right. of sense right because you know when you're talking about a lot of historical stuff you gotta find historical clips and things like that so so i guess that's probably a, a Part of the inspiration of why you're trying to do this archive project but but yeah if you want to explain to us and you know to the audience what 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 it is that you're doing with old clips from you know runescape history right so there's this program let me look it up real quick called tube archivist and it's basically like you can host your own little version of youtube on your computer 
and you put in the videos you you want to download it'll download them it downloads the title the thumbnail the the comments and all that and it's sort of like you have a little time capsule of this video and what i've been doing is any notable runescape video in the past i'm i'm taking that and downloading an extra copy because more likely than not it's not on the wayback machine and it will disappear at some point um like most most of early RuneScape's videos are gone completely because of copyright strikes, because of the music they <laughs> used, or Jagex. Jagex was really copyright strike happy back in the day too. And around around when I did that private server thing, they were they weren't even just striking private servers. It was just there's still Reddit posts of people like, why why did my video get claimed? So it's like I'm sort of trying to save all the old stuff that's still up there. Especially because like YouTube accounts get deactivated all the time. YouTube is or Google was like deactivating all these old Gmail accounts. But if they had YouTube content uploaded, they ignored them. But I'm sure one day, you know, there will be so many videos. They'll have to get rid of those ones, too. Oh, damn. That's um, crazy. Yeah. So I'm pretty much just saving as much as I can before it's too late type of thing. <laughs> How much have you saved? What do you, you know, um, <laughs> so I have a like 16 terabyte drive and I i'm at about i'm i have about two terabytes of runescape videos right now so you know, it's like a decent chunk oh you know shit. when they find okay. like that random gym coach with like 20 terabytes of you know on there you know it's like but for you it's <laughs> <laughs> also RuneScape. It's runescape videos <laughs> <laughs> we found 20 terabytes of what just old shit man <laughs> <laughs> it's called runescape it's like oh RuneScape wow videos. that game what? What was yeah. the um what was the app or website that you're using for this? It was Tube something? Yeah, Tube Archivist. It's it's right. um it's sort of hard to explain cuz it's not like a normal like EXE that you open up. It's like you have to have like a home server to run it, but it's it's pretty cool. So, does it does it show you is it like the back in the time website or whatever where you can see like videos that have been deleted or is it just what's on YouTube now? It's any video that I've downloaded that is now gone. I still have a copy of it. So, okay. yeah. So I mentioned to you guys before when we were sort of setting this interview up that uh, Durial 321s old channel was something that recently got deleted. I'm not a hundred percent on if he was the real one because there were so many imposters, but it contains a lot of PKing footage of him that doesn't exist anywhere else on the internet. So it's like. Even if he's not the real one, there's still these actual real videos of Durial three two one PKing that would otherwise be pretty much completely gone, um, and I I still use those in videos. Mm, yeah, I mean it also serves a, a good purpose for your you know your channel as well because you you do be using some pretty like very like in, related to the thing that you're talking about you know in in the past kind of stuff, so I'm sure that's really beneficial. But like. In terms of what you've archived, what are some of like the the surprising, I guess, things you found, right? Like video wise that you may 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 not have used ever, but like it's just funny right. that you thought about. So let me scroll through it real quick because there's a lot that I usually come across. There's there's so many random videos where it's just an old RuneScape video from like 2005. It has like four views and. Hmm it's really high quality footage of old runescape and that's really hard to come across. So it's like the fact that, I don't know, it used some random person uploaded this, what would be a useless video back in 2005. Cause it's really just them like skilling or doing something random is now like an actual piece of history is really cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's, there's, yeah, that's some there's really some good B roll. <laughs> right. <laughs> it looks really nice. Like whenever I watch one of your videos, it instantly gives me nostalgia and it, mm. it really is a case of you know i'm on rune light right now and it's like i have gpu scaling so everything smoothed out like you know the characters are more well-rounded the movements are less jagged and stuff like that so when you watch an original clip of somebody crafting runes from back in 2000 it's like <laughs> it's so different from what it is now you know very true I, I, I do wonder sometimes if you were to turn everything off and like use the vanilla client, if you could basically get back to that. Obviously, the you interface sort of different. can. Yeah, you like can. if you turn even just flicking GPU off, you can instantly see it's like, oh, yeah, it's more what am I looking at? <laughs> like there's just things though that you, 
there's just some things you can't really bring back for example like when i you know started playing old school uh, in the first few years like if you go to the bank for example right you open up the bank tab there there used to only be like three buttons at the bottom right there wasn't right. even deposit all over you know what i mean they didn't even have deposit yeah. x or any of that stuff so so i i because i've been doing something where uh it, it, you know i gotta go back to like past videos that i made like eight years ago because i'm trying to like basically remaster like my old progress videos into like a movie mm. and like as i'm editing right i'm just like noticing that my bank interface keeps changing you know i'm like oh there's an yeah. extra button i'm like yeah. oh my god i can't believe i had to like right click withdraw like all there was no x you know or something like that yeah. it was like i was like what the hell is like this was so annoying then like oh my god i was scaling like this the whole time it was so slow <laughs> so, so bad dude. so mad too yeah. when you when they added withdraw x they were like uh, this is easy scape what are you doing <laughs> yeah, when no. are people not mad they are <laughs> yeah, always yeah. mad bro it's probably because you're playing too much damn runescape dude that's yeah. a real problem bro dude, i think people just don't like change man i remember mm. like years ago i used to be the exact same like they would make an update on youtube where it would just change yeah. something so small and i'd be so mad i'd be like why have they done this why is it different and it's just i look back at it and i'm just like man was i like more autistic back then than i am now it's like i feel like i've grown as <laughs> a think, person I'm i think like, you okay. were just angry at the world back then i think know? i could have been yeah, <laughs> yeah no, i probably was <laughs> it's super human cuz what i've been learning about like the macro environment of just everything is that when change happens there are so many people against it no matter what the change is the yeah. internet is. cars vitamins dude. people just get angry bro they get angry and they get mad at you for trying to change it and then like 5 years later they're like oh okay it's kind of nice right it's yeah it's just a change and it happens all the time around us Dude, like, even now true. there's change happening and people are just like Argh. it's true yeah. Here's a question. it is true what, it is true what was the last change that they did in runescape that made you guys mad if you can remember multi-revs mm. multi-revs multi-revs mm. yo, yo, yo they're gonna bring it dude, back one day my so, life one day. changed bro are you kidding me oh, dude yeah for better or worse can... or is it What's the can question? I, hey, man, if you need angry? some OG clips, dude, I got a bunch of multi rev videos that you can never make again. Oh, so, perfect. <laughs> Bro, that, that is like history now. I, yeah, I was going to get this, dude. Way, so, something that I thought would be a really cool discussion was obviously when it comes to history, like we always think of history as something that happened a really long time ago. But the reality is, is that like as of today, something could be happening which will eventually be a, a historical event, right? So with RuneScape, obviously you've taken a keen interest in the past. Is there anybody, or do you yourself, currently like bookmark things that have happened in recent times in RuneScape? Because there's always noise. Oh, that's interesting. Like you, you go on Twitter and something's happened. I, I'll give you a prime example. Historical so this memes. Was, this was a few months ago. <laughs> there was a, a YouTuber. I've got his YouTube open now. His name's Darth Microtransaction. He's a ginger guy and he lives in Alaska. If you don't know who he is. So basically he ended up getting hacked and he lost like two bill or something like that. And there was a J mod in his stream and there was a massive Reddit post about this because people were furious mm. because one of the mods watched it happen. And then they basically got his items back for him, which might sound like, you know, the just thing that should have happened. But with the context of RuneScape, that very rarely happens if ever that could be the first time ever where a player under that circumstance has got his items back we do know of another time which was when it was a uh, mod jed and he hacked loads of accounts and people were getting like 10 bill back in their bank banks etc that was an absolute train wreck because half of them just rwt'd the, oh, the yeah, cash dude. as soon as they go yeah, instantly bro. It, was, it was a complete <laughs> shit show but my, my point is is like is this being documented is this going into like the archive? Because like in five, ten years time, it could be like Darth Microtransaction, the first RuneScape player outside of a scandal involving a J mod who got a refund on his items. You know? Absolutely, yeah. That that specific situation, like I only know like the the surface level stuff, but I absolutely have that Reddit post saved like <laughs> in a Google Doc right now. Because no, um, cool. sometimes, you're... yeah, go ahead, sometimes go ahead. there's things where it's like. I don't have the time to read into it right now, but I know this is important, so I'll just I'll toss it in there and hopefully use it one day. You know. So yeah. is it safe to say That's that? Good. So is it safe to say that you, for the most part, have mastered the craft of documentation? You know, like 
present, f past, and and you know, future. I guess because you're gonna make something of it in the future, right? It's like I guess it's coward. it's hard to say mastered, but yeah. I do have a process now where I'm pretty happy with it. Like I feel a lot less stressed when I need to get a video out. It's mm -hmm. like I I now that I've been doing it for over half a decade now i sort of i feel like i know what i'm doing now you know yeah if that makes sense yeah yeah <laughs> for sure no, no that's great though you know because man making consistently good or attractive youtube videos for people watch is never an easy thing so yeah you know it to be honest with you it's probably in your best interest as well to document current historical events that are happening in runescape because god forbid let's say one day the game no longer exists and right. if you've archived we'll just be like, on a private server dude we all got the it. monopoly <laughs> also, but if you've archived like 10 years of current history you're set for like another 10 years of making content it's like 2 million it's subs I, know, dude. Yeah, it's, I, I mean you'll have an exclusive thing going you. on so it's like an exclusive right. historical you are the archive you know because yeah. ain't nobody else really doing it you know no, dude, uh, nobody right. has a 20, 20 terabyte R drive for Runescape. Like, <laughs> bro, I only, <laughs> yeah. I only archive myself, right? But like, that's it. You know, there's not, I don't not even too much. Do that, that. <laughs> like, you guys, you know the meme where it's like, do you think about the Roman Empire downfall? Yeah. Like, do all men, you know that? And you just think about like those times where it's like, where are they getting this information? It's just some random receipt of a dude buying a loaf of bread that they just stored really perfectly. Yeah, and then we find really, it yeah. and we have this fragmented history. It's not the you full picture, the dots, but it's just these you know? random people way back when just writing down something that's happened. And just because they wrote it down and kept it somewhere, we now know that so far. That's going to be you with this 20 terabytes of RuneScape when like our empire collapses and they re it <laughs> right. again. And they're like, yeah. what were they doing? RuneScape 2000 yo, it's years like ago? Archeolo what is this? Yo, found... Archaeological dig site. They like uncover this hard drive, you know, like just, you know, brush it off. It's like, what is this? What's in here? And they load it. It's like, yo, what is all this like crappy We got the Bodhi one, like, this one fun. Fun. army fucking theme song. Doom, 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 you know, just yes. <laughs> they're like, this is sick, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah. I love to think about that joke where it's like th thousands of years from now, there's just nothing left of civilization and aliens find like one thing left and it's just the RuneScape hard drive. <laughs> yeah. It's just like, like fucking She Shanty 2 and Food Salad. Yeah, yeah bro. Yeah. This is just Jabrim running laps, dude. That's all it yeah. is, bro. Just, just High quality. Like Yo, 40 it, hours of it. 4K uh, woodcutting views, bro. Pop, pop, pop. Like, they need to yeah. we, they need to redo one of those you know they sent the satellite it's like a golden disc they sent two of them out into mm. space yeah. that have like yeah. it has audio recordings or different something different frequencies like and shit like that yeah they need to send the new one out with like sea shanty on it and, like, <laughs> yeah you know, a reboot yeah. for old school runescape. A little yeah. off topic, dude. I don't think we should be sending any of that shit out, bro. Because the more <laughs> I think about it, I don't want to let people know we're here in the galaxy, dude. Bro, They're going to come curb stomp us dude, or if, something. If they, if they we send, need to stop this. <laughs> if they send more, like, runescape music, bro, all of a sudden, like, you know, RuneScape population just goes up by like 10 million, you know, like on current. They're just like, connected from, from like a galaxy away somehow with their <laughs> they, superb right. tech. You, know, you track their IP and they're like 2 billion, light, like 2 million light years away. You're like, what, what the heck? It's, like, what, it's what just all from? bots too. And they're all RWP. Yeah, and you're like, what so the funny. fuck? <laughs> so like 1,000 millisecond ping. Oh God. <laughs> I'm going to hit you with a, a more of a hard, hard hitting question here. Okay. So... Obviously, Politics. when you're when you're covering a lot of like historical events, there are less people that you're able to confirm details with, right? And when people click on your video, uh, you know, it's like you're you're representing and producing stuff as like factual. This is what happened, etc. So, do you have people, or is there somebody that you run things by to make sure that the information that you're displaying is completely accurate, or is it kind of a case of you know that it's pretty much in that ballpark and there's not really anyone that you can really talk to to confirm every detail with like how right. do you how, how do you Reconcile have like your that. own integrity for the content that you're putting out to say this is historically fact and accurate so there's a lot of people it's different every video i'm almost always talking to at least two or three people per like historical video unless it's really really well documented like um there's this other guy, uh, July, the RuneScape historian on Twitter. 
he knows a lot about this game. Like, I'd say more than I do. Um, and there's a lot of stuff where if I'm not 100% sure, I'll go confirm with confirm with him. And um, there's also Log. He's like a well-known RuneScape Classic player. He's uh, associated with the server that uh, that Randy plays on. Um, those I talk to those guys a lot. There's the RuneScape Archive Project. There's a ton of people in that Discord. Um, it really depends on the video, though. Like, there's there's a lot of stuff that I'm trying to think of specific examples where it's sort of been taken down as like a fact that this happened in RuneScape, but mm. it's just like completely wrong. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. I wish mm-hmm. I wish yeah. I had a specific example because I know there's a few. I'm kind of want to scroll through my you, channel you, real quick. Go go for it, dude. I, I'm just thinking because you know, for the majority of people that watch your content. Like, I've played since the early 2000s, so I've lived through a lot of RuneScape. So it's like, if I watch a video that is historically inaccurate, and I'm not saying that's what I've seen from you, but if I see that, in my head, I'm instantly going to be like, okay, well, this guy's got that wrong. What else has he got wrong Mm -hmm. on the channel? Um, And I, I don't know. I feel like when you're representing like a historical data point, it's like, people who are watching that that weren't there at the time probably will just watch that as like oh this is factual yeah this is what happened but but here's Um, to here's to uh confirm that you know your your videos are indeed pretty accurate is that you know i watched the sumi video right and uh and i i remember the stuff that went down you know when he was like rank one and like you know his like i used to watch his some of his videos because like i remember a friend covered it so it was like I was there in the moment and you you know you pretty much talked about the things that happened like pretty pretty factually as I remember them. So and you even went as far as like to you know look look up his pre rank 1 stuff which I didn't even know about but like you know you got it off of a his like it, what was it like a tippet uh yeah, Q&A tippet thing blog interview he did. and so that yeah. you know it, it, that was what he did he said that. Yeah. So it's very it was very accurate so I can tell you that. And and like I hear a lot of like um gossip right like when i like i stream a lot and like you know all there's always gossip of viewers always asking what do you think about this person this youtuber or like they'll always be like right man i swear this youtuber man he like he makes these videos he's like way too overhyped his videos aren't even like accurate or whatever you know or the facts aren't accurate but like you would never you know you're never one of them so it, it oh, probably means you. that you're good you know <laughs> well, you're, you're, rice, you're good rice tell him what he missed in that Xiaomi video bro that you were sharing with us tell him oh, oh yeah, yeah no, us. No, <laughs> but like, okay, but missed, like, like the thing is it wouldn't really have anything to do with the the oh, no, we video just want to know itself dude. but but like I, okay so like I, like i said i was watching the stuff unfolding because you know at the time right so yeah. so he you know like like he had a youtube channel and you did say like that was kind of his downfall and that was definitely true because you know he would say some crazy stuff sometimes on on like his channel but like the thing i want to talk about the funny thing is that like sometimes he would show his progress right so so it's just like sometimes yeah. it's just him capturing the game but the game's on a browser right and sometimes oh, sometimes he be <laughs> like you know he'd be like I, don't, I forgot what it was specifically but he was like trying to show like uh high scores or something it was like a website or something that showed like his progress and numbers and like he would be like you know panning his mouse and like dragging you know the browser up right so he can show you what what he's clicking on but then like you'll see like 10 different tabs right or something and then like half of it's like porn (laughs) (laughs) bro can you imagine like a youtuber doing that now like imagine imagine uploads his video didn't a friend do that once (laughs) yeah you did his his porn folder Dude, he, a friend downloads that shit straight up. Yeah. That is respectably yeah. risky, dude. I like, know. damn, son. That's what can I? Bro. I'm gonna ask a community question. He did question. a follow up video too. I don't know if you know what? that. He did a follow up yeah, video of that. Where he went into it, I. And he yeah. was like, he was like, well, you know, I was just, in, I, was, I was just interested to see what was the hype about this, like dude. Japanese porn. And then he was like, <laughs> I yeah. actually didn't like it because it's like, it's like. <laughs> They're like pretending to be little kids and like they're like oh, in the trains dude. or something. <laughs> I was like, what up, the man. fuck? <laughs> but like, okay, but, okay, I get it, I get it, right? You're curious. But a community question, right. bro. Do y'all download it or are you normal and you don't <laughs> download no, it? No, fuck download. Answer it down below, bro. Uh, we're no, gonna we're gonna I'll weed tell you through right these. Now, do not download. 
Don't, do don't it, yeah. download it, bro. Dude, I just gotta say, half the tabs, videos. <laughs> dude, half the tabs is porn is crazy. Like I one know, tab, so you yeah. forget dude, no, about okay, half several. You know, it was like several, like because it'd be like all squished tabs, but all you see is X X X X. You know, on the on the little tabs. Oh my god. Oh my, it was so bad. It was. It was How could you do that, dude? <laughs> I'm so I'm like, like I don't know, self aware. I guess like, so if funny, I ever yeah. if I ever show my browser and I'm streaming. I'm like, I ain't showing it until I've checked that there's nothing yeah. in that search bar. Like, you there's know, no way yeah, I'm even I'm, typing. Off topic, it's though, we looked up try... some horrible stuff. That's why. Because, <laughs> yeah. you know, if your shit got caught, you would be going to jail. Bro. You know what <laughs> oh, I mean? Fuck, <laughs> oh, God. No, but, like, off to well, oh. off topic, but also on topic about Suomi, though, we did try to get him on one time just to talk about, you know, all the stuff that happened, but he he, he, he didn't really want yeah. to. So, but yeah, it was, he, he it was be some really bad times. Interesting... It'd yeah. be a really oh, interesting yeah. guest to have on. Like, yeah. and we're not right. we're not judging for his porn thing. I we mean, just find I, it know, we absolutely it. It's, hilarious. It's funny. Dude. Yeah, it's funny as hell. It's it's pretty funny, and that's a lot of porn, brother. Like, that's <laughs> props. I mean, there was these messages yeah. of he was. I think it was when he got muted. He was like, "I would have never." gotten to rank one without porn or something like that <laughs> I, think he did I was gonna say he was really grinding up the ranks bro you know what i mean <laughs> Dude, he was playing, playing like a 18 hand. hours a day like he definitely didn't have time for a wife or a girlfriend or anything yeah yeah Dude, he should he should have learned about anime bro <laughs> honestly because there was a lot of good Jeez, anime back dude. then he needed some hitman reborn bro. i'm just saying bro. yeah, yeah it's <laughs> true for real for real <laughs> <laughs> oh my god yo wait wait we could talk so much about like the past and stuff but like i'm i did i didn't want to like forget about the rsi stuff dude like we, mm. we should definitely cover that before we go full-blown tangents on like back in my days you know and stuff like that but right but yeah what what's going on with what was what's the going with your rsi like when did it happen and uh yeah well and what is so rsi to too just to break down the acronym so it's uh, i believe it's repetitive strain injury i think some people say repetitive stress injury yeah but it's basically where you repeat an action so much that it pretty much like damages your tendons it's really cool yeah. um it's really cool and, and I'm, <laughs> yeah. thinking, I'm still thinking about so many sadly no did you <laughs> yeah um, you know rsi with a hand you know the the dominant yes. hand <laughs> so rough. it was um it was back it was actually the start of 2023. My clan was doing a bingo event and we were one tile away from tying with the team in the lead. And pretty much everyone on my team had gone to bed, but I was like, it was like 6 PM. I was like, you know what? I'll just send solo chambers for until I get a purple. And I ended up staying t up till probably four or 5 AM. And my second to last raid, my hand started to hurt. Like my more specifically, like my wrist right here started to hurt. And I, I thought nothing of it. I was like, that's probably normal. I've been playing so much. Um, so I finish up, I don't get the purple. Uh, so that was all for nothing. Um, but I, I go to bed. It seems normal the next day. Then a couple hours in it, it starts hurting again. So I start sort of doing some research on like what this could possibly be. Um, and I come across like the RSI subreddit and it immediately freaked me out because there's a ton of horror stories on that subreddit of people who are like, yeah, I have really bad RSI. I've had it and it never gets better. And I was like, <laughs> I'm screwed because this is my job. I kind of need my hands for this game. Um, so I tried improving my posture and I tried switching to my left hand with a mouse um, I bought this crazy keyboard, which I don't think I can show the whole thing, but it's split in half. This is oh, the um, right-handed side oh, of the keyboard cool. and yeah. they helped, but it was a little too late for that. Mm. So it pretty much kept happening. It got to the point. I'm sort of one of those people where I won't go to the doctor until it's like, I absolutely need to. I think it's just uh, men, bro. I think, I think <laughs> yeah, 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 right. we'll just die, dude. dude I mean, also exactly. the freaking... You know, hospital bills and shit are like pretty yeah. crazy. So yes. in the U.S., thank yeah. you know, thank you guys for this amazing service. Oh yeah, you guys, you but, guys have a legitimate excuse out there. Like for me, 
not to brag, but I just I just go. I can just waste their yeah, time. What I'm kind just, of hospital you guys got out there? Do you middle of a barn sitting on some hay? I mean, come on, bro. No, <laughs> it's not. It's not. Yeah. They're not made out of hay, dude. It's yeah. <laughs> they just you just walk into like the hay hut and they just whack yeah. a needle in your arm. It's like you better. Some dude with an apron that's bloody. Like sit down, just yeah. whatever, bro. <laughs> just pulling like the needle orange, straight out of the other person's arm. Not even clean it. Just spit on it. No. It's just it can be very busy. It can be it can be very mm. busy. As you have you imagine. tried those mouse pads, bro? Like they got the anime ones with <laughs> yeah. all the boobs. So oh, whatever they are. Crazy yeah. thing. This you literally you. It's like a magnet. You put oh, it on dude. the palm of your hand, and you sort of like play like that, and it elevates your wrist ever so slightly. And it mm. it actually helped for a while, but it kept getting worse. I thought um, you said it was gonna levitate it. I'm like that'd be cool, man. I like, wish, yeah. Couldn't... Yeah. So, so it, what is medically? What is RSI? Like, what what's happening inside of your hands, your joints? So, stuff? that's really cool because it's sort of hard mm -hmm. to. It's different for everybody. In my case, it was the way the doctor described it to me. It was like I've overworked my tendons so much is that they've now sort of changed to become like sticky. You've, you've and they evolved. Would <laughs> yeah, or devolved, I guess. Yeah. Um, they they sort of became sticky and sort of, I don't want to say stuck together, but sticky and fatigued. And it was just like, so the first time I went into the doctor, <clears throat> they prescribed me physical therapy. And I go to the physical therapist and I'm like, how, how do I fix this? And she was like, ideally, you don't touch a mouse for the next four months. Um, mm -hmm. And I was like, I I can't do that because it's my job. Um, so to try and counteract what's happening with the tendons, I wish I had it. They gave me stretching exercises to do every day to sort of like loosen, loosen them back up and get them, I guess, less sticky. Uh, that part I'm a little confused on, but, um, and also like therapy putty to like sort of strengthen my hands. But one thing I remember, cause carpal tunnel is like the common joke in the RuneScape community. It's like, oh, you'll give yourself carpal tunnel. And yeah. it was like, that is specifically different compared to like a normal RSI injury, like sort of similar, but different. Um, anyway, one specific story about my first visit, visit to the physical therapist is they have this little machine you squeeze to test how strong you are. And I had been weightlifting for a while and I was like, I, I've never been super big, but I was like starting to get some muscle and I was like pretty confident about this little squeeze test. So I squeezed the thing. And the lady goes, you're very weak. And I just laugh because I think she's joking. <laughs> and she doesn't laugh. Bro, she oh, rude no. as hell, dude. Even if you know. weak, who just says it like that, man? I know, right? Damn. Yeah, um, that's messed up. Too real, too real. Yeah. <laughs> that's so what Rice would say, bro. Oh. <laughs> see Rice saying that shit, dude. Hey, look, if I was your friend. <laughs> but just right. a random stranger, like, yeah, you're yeah. pretty fucking weak, it's bro. like, who are you? <laughs> right she was she was like an 80 year old lady she's like oh, okay she, knows. she was Holy pretty shit. straightforward with me she's uh, a little bit racist you know got the old uh, she's like her. my grandkid right here you know you weak man yeah yeah <laughs> like i could beat you in an arm wrestle right now yeah what if she just hit the machine and just she like doubled your score she's like that's right <laughs> but it after that i uh, I got this program where instead of clicking, I would hover my mouse over what I needed to click on and it would click for me after like three seconds. And I sort of like slowed down my mouse usage and stuff like that because like the number one thing people say with RSI is it's like one is adjusting your habits. So like having the proper posture and then number two is just like just letting it rest. So I do like three, four hours of work a day and I'd be in like excruciating pain afterwards and I'd want to play RuneScape because, you know, it's like, that's the thing I do after work. Um, it's like my job and, and my hobby. Um, so it's sort of weird as someone who's always connected to the internet, not really being so connected to it for probably like eight months. Um, but eventually with like the stretches and the, and the therapy putty and stuff like that, it, it got better as well as like, I guess the biggest thing was like a combination of probably time, my diet and sleep. Cause when it came to sleeping, I was like, I was taking an edible like every night because I was like, it knocks me out. So that <laughs> puts me right to sleep. And then I, w I was randomly scrolling one day and there's like this new study where it's like, it puts you out, but it like ruins your actual sleep quality. And I was like, 
maybe that's part of it. I'm not recovering. And I sort of, I toned that down. I stopped doing it. And along with like diet and all that, it, it seemed to, I'm pretty much like back to normal now. And I thought off that's the good. RSI subreddit. Wait, that wait, I so you quit screwed. weed and now you're yes. better? <laughs> no. So, 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 <laughs> so not, not Need that science in my life, bro. <laughs> not, oh. not completely. It's casually. I'll still do it, but not mm. every day. Like I was doing before. Like that was, Damn, dude. It was not not a good time. <laughs> I, I think this is a pretty important topic because uh, we we talk about this stuff all the time, like as memes, but it actually does happen. And this is a very clicky goddamn game, right? You use your yes. mouse like crazy. So this is one of those yeah. games that is like producing the most amount of RSIs out there, probably. You know? <laughs> so so y'all, y'all better take some notes anger. right now. Yeah. It's you know? like my number one advice is like if it hurts, stop. And go get some help. Don't be like me. Like, just be like, it'll go away. If it hurts, stop. I think that's yeah. good advice for for everything. Yeah, yeah. honestly, everything. Yeah, Especially unless you're shows, unless right. you're in the U.S. because you better have some like money to pay off those bills. You know. <laughs> True. <laughs> Holy shit. That that is crazy. Yeah. Ra- though. Rakes, you remember when you said something about like evolving? I was I was thinking like, what if we do evolve from RuneScape playing so much that our kids are just like steel wristed or something? Yeah, just like fucking RSI resistant. Yeah. But then they got like horrible back posture and diabetes. You yeah. know what I mean? So it's like a mix. <laughs> but I'm like, oh, what here. are we passing down to our grandkids? I'm like, probably not great to survive, but amazing to play RuneScape. Yeah, speaking right. th- those speaking of like like in terms of health etiquette of playing RuneScape. Um, I, I haven't had RSI, but I've definitely had, like, moments where I noticed that, like, I was, you know, the feeling some sort of tenseness, you know, or, like, mm. or like kind of, like, you know, tiredness in my hand. And I'm, like, very sensitive, right, to how I, you know, like, do stuff nowadays because, you know, I'm, I'm fucking doing this all the time and I, I need to make sure I get the best quality possible. But I noticed that one of the common issues um, with, like, how, you know, you can... Yeah, you get your hands like kind of like injured or tired. I think a lot of it has to do with how you use your mouse, right? So, mm. so for example, right in RuneScape, right, you can use your mouse to do a lot of things. Obviously, the first one is just clicking stuff, right, and then moving your mouse to a certain area and then like clicking on it, <clears> right. <throat> that that's usually fine. But the thing, the other thing that people don't realize is that a lot of times what people do is that they pan the camera with the mouse. You know what I'm talking about, right? Like, so you would hold the mouse wheel and then you could like the use it mouse. to move yeah. the camera, mm-hmm. right? So, so I've noticed that when I'm doing high intensity stuff, because for a long time, I didn't even bother using the mouse wheel to pan the camera. And I remember when I started doing it, like it was, it was like initially like kind of convenient because sometimes I'm too lazy. I don't want to use this hand, you know, to like move my mouse. Cause I usually just move uh, my camera with like the keyboard, right? And I've never had any hand issues, but one time I, I kind of started getting into it and I was doing high level PVM. So what happens is that like I would literally move my camera while I'm clicking my gear and switching and clicking the boss and clicking where I'm oh, shit. trying to click. So you should so, be like a surgeon, bro. Wrong so then what happened, you know, <laughs> what happened is that I guess after a month or two or three, right? I started like noticing that like I was my hands were getting a bit tired and I was like, what the hell changed? You know, because for years I never had issues. But then I was like, wait a minute, I got into panning my camera with my mouse. So then I stopped doing it. And then immediately the next day or two, like nothing, like I'm, I'm fine again. Like it was weird because I could do this for hours. I could play in gear switch, like, you know, six weight, seven weight, whatever. Right. And I can like do a lot of these high intensity clicking, not like seven hours at a time on stream. But, and I would never have issues. But then when I started adding the panning in there with my uh, mouse movement, that was bad. I, I think yeah. I think that's something that people should watch out for when you are trying to do too much at once with your mouse, mm. which means your mouse hand. I think that'll fuck with your hand. Like if you could if you could move some of that action to your other hand, it will definitely save this hand because because for a long <clears> time I I always move my camera with my uh you know arrow keys or WSD. You can do that now with Runelight with key remapping, so it's really nice. If you play other MMOs with WSD or other games. You should do that instead because it's really nice to minimize how much clicking and moving you do with that hand. If you can yeah. do it with this hand, because you got that on WSD, yeah. that's that's kind of cool, man. Yeah, it's really easy. Really it's it's already that's built cool. in on Runelight. It's already built in. Co- so. Colonella, did you uh, did you play Guns the Duel when you were younger at all? I did not. 
Okay. Mm. I was going to say that's probably where it's from then. I'm, I'm going to say it's probably from editing then. Because I, when I edit, mm. that's when my wrist hurts. I'll be done streaming, then I'll go edit, and I'll be like, ah, dude, I really don't want to finish this video. Just dragging the clips over. Right. I watch your videos. I can't imagine <laughs> how much oh, you're dragging yeah. a lot. and zooming yeah. and moving. So I that assume, case, yeah. That would be like Wait, a hold DPI. Up. In that Mate, case, that would be a DPI. So. Dude, do not be telling me you're dragging one clip at a time onto your timeline. Well, that's you not, know... That's not how you edit, right? It First depends. off, it I edit, you <laughs> just kind of like... You know, what you mean? Together, brother, like, you know, I'm an artist. Talking about wait, 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 wait. Right? You can just drag them all in. But like, you if you're doing you can like select them all, yeah, and like drag like a hundred at a time. Yeah. You don't have to do them individually. Please tell me that's not what you're saying. But like, I know you're not dragging the <laughs> file individually, bro. Oh my but like, god! But here's what? the thing. Here's the here's the thing, Rixi. Like, for example, for someone like Colonel, he you probably have like different files on different folders. So you, he would have to like manually True. open up the folder, drag it, go to another folder, drag it. So I think that case is going to come down to like your DPI, right? Like, like how do you, how far yeah. do you drag? Does it go all the way to another monitor or is it just, I'm guessing it's multiple monitors, right? That you're doing. I have three and I yeah. definitely, oh, yeah. I'm switching folders all the time and it's, it's definitely going from one monitor to the other a lot. So definitely. Yeah. Yeah. So like, I, have, have you ever looked into your DPI, uh, that kind of stuff to, you know, Kind of like complement uh, your your uh, hand stuff. So actually, yeah, middle mouse gave me a lot of issue too. Like yeah. that's it's sort of that's sort of where it started. Actually, I had completely forgotten about that. Um, and I have this uh, I forget what it's called. It's like a Razer gamepad, and it has like a little four directional stick, like what you'd see on like um, on like a controller. And I use that for the camera now. Yeah, and yeah, it, no, it, it helps actually so helps much. a lot. Yeah, yeah. Because it was immediate, honestly, like in only like mm. two months of me doing it, because like it became subconscious. I didn't even like know I was panning with my, you know, with my mouse. Right. Hand. But like once I realized, I was like, holy shit, I've been doing it too much because like I'm like doing high level PM all the time. And yeah, I usually just, you know, would use this hand. But like this hand, man, has been, it's been getting weak, you know, and like, but I brought it back and I'm like, holy shit, yeah, I'm back, you know, we're, we're chilling. Yeah. But. But yeah, DPI I, I stuff too is big. You know, if you're dragging across your screen, said. you need like a bigger DPI so you can move easier. So, dude, I think I think the angle at which oh, you he's taking his Pokemon cards out. There you go. There you go. I oh. think the <laughs> angle is the most important, right? So here, very uh, he just true. wants to shake their wrist, not, brother. Look at not that a thing. sponsor, <laughs> but this is this is a adjustable desk, right? So I, yeah. I feel mm -hmm. like what you said was like your wrist is going down like that to the mouse, whereas if you're like up here, angle. Wait, Ray, so you play hanging off? Dude, you you're yeah. hanging off the your what? Hanger, your what hanger. am this I looking me, like, dude? This is how I game, bro. Yeah, but look, oh, I got my arm. I got my arm yeah, rested. Arm rest. on yeah, I, I like that too. Like, dude. No I'm no like wonder. that too. I'm like that too. I'm like the like dirty this. wrist yeah. hanger, bro. What I mean, am I looking at, dude? I used to have problems with like mine as well, and I ended up mm. getting one of those like little. It was like a little resting spot for like where your mouse was, like one of those right. like little jelly bean things. But I found that it made me a worse player. Like I literally started to suck, so I just, I just threw it away, and then I just pushed through the pain. <laughs> I've never had any problems since, to be honest. But I do think that's for real. <laughs> I, think that, <laughs> I think that your gamer chair armrest being set accordingly, and also your desk level, yeah, you, you want to be a like, really important thing. You just Please be tell like me you're not a hanger, though, Colin. Like, you need to be nine um, degrees. I'm, I'm sort of a hanger. I what? keep it. I keep it, not completely, but it's like. For a while with the RSI, I sort of like got in my own head where I would feel like something would hurt even if it wasn't actually hurting. And I'd be like, oh, my wrist is yeah, touching yeah. the desk. It hurts. Paranoia. Dude, yeah. I play yeah. like this, bro. Show me. Show me. Show me. How do you play, man? Like yeah. this, dude. Yeah, you yeah, have your armrest yeah. on the back, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you, see you, this? you see how much connection I got? Thing. Your shit like this. <laughs> bro, <laughs> you're, doing, you're doing the exact nah, same nah, as nah, me. Nah, dude. You see yeah, this? It's you're doing the exact enough, same though, as me. The only see how straight that is, dude? Is I'm a better PKR. <laughs> no, okay, that's all right. <laughs> but, like, but like, yeah, that's no. Old, old, us three Give actually play, us three actually play very similar because, um, you know, uh, like my hand is half hang, you know? A little bit of it is hang, the outer hand. But like, but I do have an armrest usually somewhere and by my elbow so you know it's how, how it works but but mainly though you just want like 90 degrees right nine degree yep. angle basically sometimes i'll put like an ice pack under it if it's really hurting to you have you ever done well, like, I'm telling <laughs> you, I, I never get issues only when i started panning my camera with my mouse that was when like i was like what the hell is this, this is not the feeling i'm looking for you know? 
when you go um, deep wilderness and I just sit at a silk stall, you know, and get some real clicks in, brother, you got to get an ice pack under your wrist sometimes. You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean it, it's interesting because I've never had this conversation with any gamer friends, but it seems like we've all had similar issues. We all have the same yeah, like, disease. Bro, I've, I've skip, literally so. done high level PVM for 24 hours on stream and I never had hand pain. That's because of, you know, the camera. That's literally I did it. 24 hours of bandos once. I had brain pain. That was awful. I don't know. Yeah, how see, not brain pain. High brain pain. PVM, that's different. Dude. My brain was cloudy. 24 hours of Zara, like, bro. Ugh, yeah. me, never again. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. Uh, Hope you guys but, found it useful. I don't have any more risk conversation but i was going to ask about the 17 terabyte hard drive if you had to delete everything and keep one memory <laughs> what would it oh, be and if that memory is what i'm thinking it is which is the uh foul or massacre what's the second one then because uh um that's a really tough one okay maybe 10 like 10 things okay we don't got 10 there, so five, many. Things, five things <laughs> let me let me look at it real quick there's there's there haven't been a whole lot of videos that have been like deleted from the internet yet, luckily. Mm -hmm. Um there's this one video I love of the cow fight queen of like the first not the first like the first guy to post a video of himself soloing it back in 2006. And the quality is so high, it's so cool. It's like the old model. It's I, I just love that one. I use it semi frequently in my videos <laughs> damn he's like yeah, that's a banger I, you know what's funny about the kq like, we were mm. me and my friend were talking about this last night and i described to him back in the early 2000s how i used to kill it so this was back when varax was the best in slot for it and like nobody right. knew how to kill it apart from varax dragon chain body was 20 to 25 mil oh, yeah. it was the most expensive item in the game uh except from party hats so this was the route that we used to take so we would start from lumbridge We'd run from Lumbridge, no energy potions, all the way to the Shanty Pass. We would have four Varax, climbing boots, rune gloves, and a strength amulet. Because back then, glories were like 100 to 200k. Mm. Nobody could, we couldn't afford losing that. The other thing is, I would find my teammate on the forums. Because it was the only way to find partners for PVM. And then we'd literally go from the Shanty Pass with our two ropes down into the KQ level uh, lever. We genuinely wouldn't even guarantee the kill. And it would be a one kill trip, and then we'd have to teleport back to Lumbridge <laughs> and do trip, the whole really? thing again. It was like right. three kills an hour, man. It was yeah. so bad. Dude, that's like my solo nightmares. Was the fairy that ring not next to the KQ in, pit back, back in the day? I don't even know if the fairy if the fairy ring was in the game, there's no way we did the quest to be able to use it. Like, I think no it didn't need. exist till two thousand like mid two thousand six. Oh really? Dang, sure. I, yeah, oh yeah. it's probably about right. That's but yeah, crazy. I mean, it's just crazy to think. But I was so motivated. Even, I mean, we'd probably get two of the the free kills per hour. Like we'd die on one of them. You know, the chance of the random dude off the forum splitting you the dragon chain drop was just yeah. like <laughs> that wasn't gonna happen. So you just Wait, how many chains? In your name. How many chains did you get? Zero. Never got Zero. one. So no. you have this whole yeah. memory no, and I just got, never... Dude, dude, I the got other, one dude, the, when it was 15 the, mil, though. The other Jeez. problem was that yeah. it never it never used to show you what the drop was. So if your teammate got a dragon chain, oh. he could just fucking lie and be like, oh, I got a <laughs> two-hander. Like, there was no way of confirming it, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. true. But but there's the law of spaz, because if you get a big drop, you would just smash your keyboard and press enter, though. You know, you can't stop it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because that's oh, literally man. what happened when i got a dc i was like doo, 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 to my to my friend i was like oh yeah right. that's it by the way so viewers of the podcast uh i don't know how many of you would have watched this but yesterday rice cup got his very first piece of third age ever yes ever. congratulations dude I, I loved Amulet. watching i loved <laughs> watching right. the clip because it was just typical rice cup he was just there opening master clue after master clue <laughs> He's a little bit miserable in the clips because he's just like, oh, oh, dude, bro. I wanted to get at least free collection logs from these clues. <laughs> <laughs> bro, no, I opened, like him, bro. dude, I opened 97 master caskets. Nothing, dude. Oh, Zero, oh, dude. Yeah. No oh, slots, no nothing. I was like, he was, bro, he was so I'm down to my last three clips. or four. I was like literally down to the last three or four, bro. I was, I've been doing everything possible in terms of, uh, you know, being like uh, superstitious. People are like, use this emote go to this bank no one's here uh there's leprechauns here go to this bank you know i do i went everywhere i did everything and i was like it came down to the island in uh north of fossil island okay 
That shit always works. That shit always works. Last <laughs> time I got a cult ornament kit, which was my first one ever in like 500 goddamn masters. And this time I got that again, actually. I got another one. But then last four, you know, I got the third age freaking amulet. Like, what the fuck? Crazy. Hell it's huge, yeah, bro. dude. Best do people magic, even actually. notice you wearing yeah. it, though? Like, do they yeah. walk up and go, nice amulet, bro? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just woodcutting <laughs> with it, you know? But <laughs> it, it kind of looks like a little bit. It kind of looks like, you know, the amulet that you wear for Slayer when you go against the cave horrors? It kind oh, of looks a little bit like that oh. when it's on the, the NPC model. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know what the, the th if you pray melee dude, against you the cave horrors, you don't bro. have Look, to I'll show you. I'll show you, man. You can see it. You can see it right now, dude. It's... Dude, it's actually going to be quite useful because it is currently the best in slot mage angler in terms of mage accuracy. I think it's like plus 15, 15. or yep. yeah, plus 15. Wow. It's, be it's better than the occult. It's only 10. But it it has the no away. it has no magic damage. That's yeah. the only fallout with the third age mage amulet. Yeah. yeah. Say that word again. Third age mage amulet. No, a court. What was that? A court. Yeah, cool. Yeah, cool. It's like, <laughs> man, like you know, like the occult's like a, a dark yeah, fucking. Necklace? You know, they practice magic. I could just imagine you like a dark hood. It's like, welcome to the occult. You know, <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, what the fuck? But but here's the deal. Like, I'm actually hoping for Rice Cup that this third age amulet's going to be genuinely useful soon because the they are nerfing the occult necklace. But here's a question for you, Rice Cup, because you're good with like stats and stuff. If they do nerf the mage damage from the occult necklace, how much would they have to nerf it by to make it worth using the third age amulet with the Tomb of Shadow? Like, would there like ever a, be a point? It sounds like a hard well, math question. He, he, here's the deal, yeah. bro. Like, because it's accuracy versus damage, and it's like, would there ever be a well, time so, when the so third here, age amulet here's would be the best deal. In here's the deal. Uh, if you have magic damage, is is over. Any amount would would pretty much beat magic accuracy. Because the shadow triples the number, so even if it's one percent, you're it's still three percent. You know that's still gonna be like a max hit. I see. Yeah. Oh, so that's kind of so sad. It would be cool if it was best in slot. That'd be amazing. What could happen, which is not gonna happen most likely, but if it did happen, it'd be like because I know a call ten percent, they could you know break it down a lot. They could go maybe six percent just on the occult, but if they put like four hmm. percent on something else, I highly doubt it's like a thirty gem because it's such a rare item. Right, so it's probably not that case, but like imagine in a crazy world, you get to decide. It's like boom, put four 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 percent on the uh, third age uh, amulet. It'd be pretty, you know, it'd be pretty. That would be really cool. Yeah, I mean, there's dude, no I, way. I bet Reddit would get mad for some reason. Yeah, I'm just I mean, oh, it's just not realistic. Mad. It's not a realistic <laughs> thing to do, dude. Pe it's, people already Iron Man be so mad, dude. Yeah, because mm. like I how am I gonna grind for that? With the nerve. <laughs> like, like here, here's the deal, right? To put it into perspective for you. The occult necklace, is it 15 or 10% magic damage? 10%. Just to clarify. 10%. 10%. Okay, so effectively, the entire set of Ancestral, the top, the bottoms, and the hat, is only 6% for the entire set. Yep. The occult necklace is 10%. <laughs> like, actually yeah. think about that in terms of yeah. how insanely OP that is, and think about how you acquire the occult necklace. You can literally mm. kill them with a cannon and barrage and kill 10 at a time. Like it's 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 kind of the main like caveat is ninety five Slayer though you, you have to get to that yeah. level yeah that's that's the the fallout with it but dude I've actually had a third age amulet myself as a clue scroll um this was back the very first week that third age was ever released back on the old servers in like two thousand and six or seven or whenever it was wow and Damn. dude I remember it like it was yesterday because I used to it was when there was only hard clues only hard clues existed at the time and obviously medium and easy and I was in the gnome uh the not the tree gnome place the other one the tree the maze village. gnome yeah, village no, place yeah gnome village upstairs mm. in the i think it was in the general store and i searched the crate i i right click and i see this item i'm like what is that and it says third age amulet and i was a little kid at the time and i was like i think that's worth money because i remember like that week reading the thread that they uploaded the blog and they mentioned some third age armor they were adding the clue scrolls so i went straight to world two to falador at the time, Third Age was sold on the outside of the um, the Falador Shield Shop, like in between where the uh, the furnace is and the armor shop. There, it was like that's where Third Age was sold, and um, I managed to sell it. It was either twelve or thirteen mil. You got and scammed. Back you then, got scammed. No, no, no. Back then, no. that was insane. Really? Like that mm. was so much money, and it, it was the perfect storm because Third Age had just come out. All of the rich players that had Dragon Chain 
because that was the best in slot. That was like the god gear to have full yep. dragon, yep. dragon chain legs. They were like, we want for an age now. So dragon chain body went from being 20 mil to being about 10 to 12 mil. So I just sold it and went and bought a dragon chain. I had full dragon. Oh, wow. it was Damn. insane. Damn. I've always been, dude, I've always been a massive spoon when it comes to like, like That's crazy. I had no everything, idea, like, bro. how lucky it was to get for an age. I was just like, oh yeah, for an age, like, of course. I'm True. probably going to get another piece tomorrow. Every you know? series, bro. Spoon. For Tiva. sure. <laughs> <Tiva>. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know. Dude, you know, it's really fucking funny because I've spoke to Rhee about this. I love what Rhee has to say because Rice Cup always gets unlucky on drops. Like, dude, if a drop comes out and it's one in a thousand from a new boss, you know for sure Rice Cup is going to be killing that boss for at least a thousand before he gets the item. And it's funny. Dude, I've heard Rice Cup speak about it and he's like, the problem is... Jagex know that I'm just gonna continue paying membership and playing it until I get it. <laughs> so they like they can they can make it rare for you. Uh, but for me, it's like if I do a hundred KC at top and I don't get the scythe, I'm gone. I'm like, I'm on to something else, dude. Like true, I'm, true, I'm gonna go true. do monster TOA. That is true. <laughs> yeah, Man. Rice can grind, bro. I don't know how, but he can. Yeah, you know, for better or worse. For better or worse. Hey, look, as long as my hands are working, I think I can do it. But, you know, if I get the RSI, it's over. (laughs) So, dude, uh, before the podcast happened a few weeks ago, I mentioned, like, a little little bit of a story, and I'll tell it now. Um, We're in the tangent side now, boys. Yeah, we're into the tangent side. (laughs) This is, like, one of those historical moments that happens where the only verification I really have from where you can do research and check it out is pretty much word to mouth. So back in the early days of RuneScape, like we're talking back in probably 2004, maybe 2005, back when, you know, the game was pretty much, it Mm, just became from classic to RuneScape 2. There was a mage bank PKer called Skullator. Okay. I don't know if you heard of that guy. No, but that sounds awesome. Okay. Yeah, he sounds awesome. So dude, this... (laughs) This guy for me <laughs> was like my fucking hero, man. Because everybody was like idol kids, elf mage at the time. This wait, wait, the guy, it got it got cut off. What was the other K- two? Kids, kids range and elf mage. Okay, you, you okay. must know who those guys are. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They blew up. Oh yeah, they blew up in popularity. Skullator was pretty popular, but he got like 10k views, whereas elf mage and kids rank got like 100k. Like there was a big difference in like you know the variety. Um, but Skeletor was a level 126, Mage Bank PKR, full our rims back in like the early 2000s. This was when we were probably using like Mithril skinnies and shit. Like yeah, we when would the mouses confirmed. had balls under him instead. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah literally. I, I don't even understand how like this guy managed to get to level 126. Like we're talking years before like I did. Like this guy must have been older or something. He definitely school. Or he, he must have been unemployed shortly. There's <laughs> no way. Unemployed There's for no sure. way. Mom's basement. <laughs> like, back, back then, I think your the hero. Yeah, yeah. One of, yeah, one of the do. best ways that people used to train back then was one HP, full DH at the fucking monkeys on monkey. Yo, I did that True. shit, bro. That was, that, yeah. was, that was the vibes. So, was vibes. So here's the deal. Here's the deal. So what ended up happening was he used to have a bunch of PK videos, and they slowly started to get deleted. And I was like, man, these are like my favorite videos. I love the music. They're fucking badass. And I don't even know how I managed to do it, but I managed to get his email address somehow. I contacted him and I was like, hey, man, I was like, I love your videos. Like, can I upload them onto my YouTube channel? Because I want to like archive them similar to what you're doing because I just love them. And he was like, yeah, yeah, sure. And we ended up having this conversation. And he was like, if you look in my early videos, he said, you'll see me using a rune defender. And he said the interesting thing about that was, was that the Rune Defender wasn't released into the game for about like a year after he was using it, because apparently one of the J mods gave it to him to test out. (laughs) So he was able to test the Rune Defender. Dumb stream kids, bro. (laughs) (laughs) We have (laughs) a great bonus. And and like, I didn't verify the facts, so I've always just like lived with that in my head. Go back. Well, actually, I I don't know if the original videos are still on there, so. the upload day but yeah he I, i've got no reason not to believe him he said to me you know nobody had rune defenders people didn't know what it was everybody was using like zami book as their off hands he had a rune defender and he was just whipping 
And it's like, it's pretty fucking badass, man. Dude, we gotta find those, man. You know, we gotta look right. for them. <laughs> I'm just I wondering if you ever too. died. Because if you die once, it's gone, right? Deep Wilderness Rune Defender, mm. there's nothing keeping it. So it, yeah. that just kind of shows how insane that is if he just had it that whole Dude, time. It, this was like back, this was back when like people didn't use Saradom and Bruise. Like his, his inventory, oh, the oh, rings food. for Barrage, he'd have a Rune Plate body, Rune Legs as a switch, and then he'd literally have like two to three prayer potions, a super attack, strength, and defense, and the rest is sharks. That was the inventory. Yep. No bruise. Dude, I've seen you would get those, roasted I mean. so hard coming in the wild like that nowadays. It's almost <laughs> yeah. true. Funny. Like you it's would like, get. Bro, you don't have six types of potions. You know, get Dude, out of here. Right? Well, got a super defense <laughs> on them. What the? F <laughs> yeah, this is this is the thing. So like, Jagex did a lot of balancing over the years that wasn't always documented. I feel because Ice Barrage back then was one hundred percent more accurate than what it was in years to follow because he was able to hit his barrage with like a hundred percent accuracy he never splashed pretty much and he had a berserker helmet on aram's top and bottom that's his only mage defense whip uh rune defender fire cape on the back climbing boots sparrow gloves and glory or fury hmm. and he literally hit every single barrage it was insane and then like over the years it got to the point where it's like you literally need like Infinity boots, or otherwise you're just gonna splash a ton of times. Yo, freaking the internet's cutting off though. <laughs> it sounds like he's getting sent oh, no. by like the FBI or something. <laughs> every saying like bad words. But dude, Rakes, you wouldn't it be so nice to go back in the like 2004 and just dumpster kids? Oh my oh. god, could you imagine, bro? That's what true. could they do? Not a damn. And then you could upload it and be a legend, bro. But like you just like you just freeze them and then you just go under them and they're like, what the hell's going? Right, yeah, protect for food. Yeah, I don't even know they're in the wild. Yeah. The kids be like, "Where he go? He disappeared." Oh, here he is again. Oh no, he's gone. You know. <laughs> right. Yeah. I mean, if we could go back, if we could go back with the knowledge that we have now and our gameplay, gameplay and ability, we'd for sure be like the elf mage of like the old. Oh yeah, mage. dude, you get arrested, 100%. man. You know, you get banned. You'd be buying bitcoins and party hats, dude. Just exactly. <laughs> So many party heads. Oh, oh yeah, God, that'd bro. be crazy. Probably get hacked though, just not even because they'll not they'll true. take accounts with party hats and just recover them. Like there are some oh, FBI yeah, agents sure. out there just making side change. I don't know what oh, they're doing, but right. dude, oh, I've God. got a friend. I, I've got a friend who he has a RuneScape free account, and I believe he has like he's told me he's got two party hat sets on the account. It's a RuneScape free account. He still has access to it, crazy. but That's he fair. logged his account out in. Uh, preparation for one of the expansions. I think it might have been Prifinus or Prifdinus or <laughs> however you say it for RuneScape Free. And um, his account has been stuck inside of the wall <laughs> for that city since the release <laughs> years ago. And he's just like, he, he's just like, I can't get out. But like, he's like, I could contact support and probably get moved, but I just don't have any plans to do it. So that's our next podcast guest, dude. The man who is <laughs> yeah. stuck with yeah. the party at sets. That's yeah. it, bro. The best oh account God. security. Just it's make it so no games. one can take your stuff. I, I actually think he might have joked about that because he's like, he's like, I can't even like, he's like, I can't even sell the party hats because they're shit hot on like RWT on those party hats. So like, mm. he's like, I can't really do anything with it. And I have no intention of playing RuneScape free. So he's just leaving it there. Yeah, yo, I recently got the golden party hat uh, to, uh, for the RuneScape oh. 20th anniversary, and that is a real party hat because it's limited time. Yeah, you, you only get it during right. that event. Well, you can trade how, it. How much? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 How, how much is it, Reed? Because I've got one as well. I don't know Here's. anymore, but when I got it, I think it was like 200 mil RS3, which isn't yeah. much, but I'm sure, no. yeah, no, it's gonna go up, it can only go up. Oh yeah, it, it can only sure. yeah. I, I I They've so. actually they've been releasing some cool, uh, rare discontinued items on there. I mean, it's twenty anniversary, so it made sense. They did a green part. Uh, sorry, a green Santa hat. They did that a few years ago. Uh, yeah, I know they did one. a purple, they did a black one too. They did a black one too. This like in the last two years oh, they did nah. the green one. Yeah. Um, I think Monta. this year they may have done a purple Santa hat, if I'm not mistaken. And they also did a purple Halloween mask, which. I've got. I managed to get. Oh, nice! Can you trade that one? Did too? A, yeah, you, you can trade the party hat too. Yeah. Yeah, I think they did a black Santa as well, right? They did, but it was a long time ago. That that one's yeah. way back now. Yeah. 
and they're they're all like stupidly expensive i mean yeah. party hats Dude, that game are crazy do you guys now. believe i had a purple party at once and not, that's not even because i bought it or anything it's because i got hacked and was given it you know wait wow. <laughs> yeah no it's because i i think i might have talked about this once but you know we're we're in the way back machine now so you know the time of free trade right when they removed that shit well, I was still playing the game. I was still addicted because I was like at the prime of my like I was I was peak gamer at the time. I was doing God Wars, right? The best content ever because I got hooked up by uh you know uh the, the, this guy named Chris Hova, uh this other dude named Talk, and this other guy was a mod. His name's Centarian. I remember these names because they were like the senpais. They brought me to fucking God Wars. I was fishing sharks, dude. The best I did <laughs> before then was I think Barrows and and like I soloed. Dagging off Rex once, you know, for B ring. That's like as good as I got, and and I was like, no way, I'm ever gonna do God Wars, you know, it's too high level. And then one of my good friends, he was like, I yo, I I got this friend of mine, he he can take you to God Wars. I'm like, yo, oh, for real? I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I I like I took the offer, of course. And then these three level one twenty six dudes, right, just taking me to freaking Bandos, and uh, yeah, I I got started, and made hella money, and I still kept doing it after free trade got uh, removed. And Chris Hova, mm. right, he's you know one of the dudes. He was, um, you know, I knew him for a long time. I, I kind of trusted his ass. And because of my friend that, like, introduced me, he was always very, like, yo, let's share accounts. I want to do something on your account that you you have access to that I don't. And, like, after a while, I gave it. I was like, fine. So, like, at one point, we all knew each other's, like, accounts and stuff. And, again, free trade was, you know, not a thing. So, w one time, I was just talking to Chris. He was like, yeah, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get 99 construction, but, like, I need, like, 200 mil. So I can fund it. I was like, oh, dude, you, you got this, man. You, like, solo Sarah Hills all the time. Like, this man, like, solo Sarah Hill, like, like you know, last week or something. It was, like, 100 mil. So I was like, yeah, just do it two, two times. You're good. And, and then, you know, conversation ended. And then, like, a week later, I was kind of, like, playing the game off and on, I think. But, like, but like I logged back in. And uh, I was like, okay, you know, I'm going to play the game. I'm going to do some Slayer or something. I, I went in my bank. And I was like... Yo, my bank is empty, bro. Like, where's all my bandos? You know, where's my bandos? God sort. I was oh, like, dude. it's just gone. I'm like, yo, where, where's, I, and then uh, out like just one random spot in the bank. I'm like, what the hell is this item? It was like a purple party hat. It was a fucking purple party hat in my bank. You know, I was like, what the hell? Why do I have a purple party hat? And and of course, it didn't take too long for me to like put the two together. I was like, wait a minute. He, Chris had a purple party hat. He was wearing it all the time. <laughs> And he told me he needed 200 mil, you know? <laughs> oh, shit. What so I was, like, I was like, wait, so my bank, like all my Bando shit, you know, like Bando's and the God Sword, that was like 100 mil, right? And then all my other stuff was probably worth like, you know, maybe 100 mil. So like my bank at the time was equivalent to a purple party hat when the free trade got removed. It was only 200 mil at the time. Actually, it was way oh, less. Oh, dude, it, wow. bro, that, it was was a, that was a really interesting. Yeah. Interesting the only time. time yeah. The only time I remember when party hats were, we're considered so as junk, yeah. like they were literally junk traded because when they removed the the, the, the free trade limit, people shortly like, after like, that, they also wait. introduced bounty hunter craters. Yeah. And it basically meant that you could, know, the most you could trade somebody was like 32K or something like that, GP. That yeah, it was like 60K. It was terrible. Yeah. yeah. It was, it was really bad. And people were quitting the game because like at the time, majority of the community were pcares oh, and yeah. people just weren't happy with the direction of the game they literally removed killed the it went yeah, from the wilderness you died. have the in, you have the entire wilderness to roam and kill you got east dragons west dragons fucking mage bank all of this and then all of a sudden it was like you have to be in this crater and when bounty hunter craters first came out the initial version of it was all multi it wasn't even singles, so you, you <laughs> went in there and you'd get killed by like a team of 50. Like, single PKM was completely <laughs> destroyed overnight, and in the process of that, party hats also became junk. Yeah, do I remember, you know? I yeah. think the purple, I remember it being like 80 mil at one point, and it was like, you you would, it would literally be in junk trades, like people yeah. would trade, do you, do you know when you went to like Zami and you get the Adam and plus plus? Yeah, they were mm -hmm. worth a lot of money. Like in actual GE like trades, they were a few hundred k. Yep. People would junk trade like tens of thousands of them for, and like there'd be a random like party hat in the trade where they'd be trading all of that <clears throat> junk for something good like Dragon Claws, Bandos, Armadil, like whatever it was at the yeah. time. So and basically, it, yeah. how, th this was bad. Like like uh, this was bad because I had the purple party hat, man, but um I couldn't sell it. 
like at all because in the grand exchange it was a uh, price at like 200 mil and mm. the most you could go down was five percent right so it'd be like 190 but like the thing is nobody was buying i tried i put that shit in there for weeks <laughs> nobody, nobody wants bought that, that shit, shit. <laughs> your right? just empty bro. it's just, slowed, it's just and, slowly going down in value yeah and and, and the bad right. and the worst part is i i was like yo i have no gear i can't li i literally couldn't do anything you know so i was like super like demotivated i was like so then for a long time i just stopped playing and then like uh i i did i did like manage to contact him uh but he was like oh it's my girlfriend i'm like what the fuck you never told me about no <laughs> girlfriend you know and then he like deleted me because like i couldn't see him online ever again but like it's i'm like bro like, bro no, come dude. on but either way it's just like i had this purple party hat and i think i had it for months and i but i oh. really wanted to play the game i really wanted to play but uh so the same friend that hooked me up you know and caused all this trouble indirectly you know i still ha i still know him i love him but but like he was like yo i know someone that will buy it right but like i had to do it through junk stuff so I, I collated <laughs> like a bro. fuck ton of uh, adamant arrow poison plus plus. I think it was like a bunch of summoning scrolls because summoning was already out back then. Summoning scrolls. And eventually I think I got like 80 mil out of it. Like actual 80 oh. mil. You know, I lost like half my bank basically. But like I was like, I can get a whip. I can play the game, you know. And thankfully, so um, yeah, thankfully Dragon Claws came out uh, right after. So I like I fucking like basically like rebuilt it back. Uh, through walk out the sleep which is coming out again which is crazy but like yeah. but like anyways yeah the junk trading thing was ridiculous free trade sucks you like if you do god wars and you get a drop bro you had to do bounty hunter to split your shit with your teammates because yeah. there was and no you loot to, share you went to free the play yeah that there was, was no that loot was the, share that was how you did it yeah there yeah. was no loot share for a while so what i did was i would have to take turns having my teammates kill me it, you couldn't just do it all at once you had to like literally die once just to give one friend your split and I remember one time I got PK by some other dude. So we literally just lost the split. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, so that used to sad. happen. I was like, oh. That used to happen all the time, man. That's I, so dude, ass. I actually, in some ways, I have like very nostalgic sort of feelings when it comes mm. to the coin share split that they used to do. Yeah, I did a lot of that too. It, if you guys remember back then, they don't have it now, but they used to have like Spanish worlds. German yep. worlds, mm, French did worlds, a, a lot and stuff that like shit. that. Yeah. We used to we used to do Armadillo like me and one or two of my friends because you could never do Armadillo in a world because the Armadillo hilt was like 150 mil. Yeah, it was like 200 mil. There was no mil. world free. Oh, actually, it coin was share time was like 150. Yeah. So what we would do is we'd go into a French world. We'd have no clue what drops we were getting when it came up <laughs> in the chat, but we knew that we got a, we knew we got a drop when we saw a massive line green text it was like a, a green, green line text, of text yeah. we were like oh shit we're like is it a god sword shard or is it something good and then we just click on the coins on the floor and just like wait in anticipation like is it going to be 100k or is it going to be like 50 mil yo <laughs> yo yo rexy didn't even tell you the, the the crazy part about these worlds right is that like you know how like if you go on your world selector you would see all the worlds right but like mm. those language worlds there weren't they're not there yeah that's what makes oh, it so yeah. that that's what made it so nice is because most people never realize that that like in order to access these unique worlds you literally had to do it through the home page. Yeah. Yeah. You had to change the language. language. I'm pretty sure you had to like Oh wait, what, what do you say, it. bro? Yeah, you had to select the language. His language, bro. Yeah, yeah, bro, so you had to select uh, French. I'm a, I'm a dip. Or Portuguese. <laughs> I think it was Portuguese, French and German or something, right? So like you would just pick any yeah. of those. And then, you know, you can't read anything, but you just click on the same old right. buttons that, you know, same placement. And then voila. Yeah. Sometimes, though, there, there was it did it, still you still had to like crash sometimes, though. But like a lot of times you could just like one and done it. You find a world then and there. But yeah, it was a really it was really nice times. I, I was abusing that shit. That's for sure. Because, man, it, it was, was it still was, very it was popular. Fun. Yeah. Dude, something, you know, speaking of Dragon Claws and obviously Wall Guff, is it Wall Guffic Sleeps? That's the quest to bring it out. Yeah, they are. So but it's going to be different, though, for sure. I, I, I do hope so. I had a conversation with Josh Palau. I think it's that, mm. that's how you say his name. The, yeah. the prison RuneScape content creator. Yeah, prison boy. Um, so so when, when Dragon Claws first came out, it was during Bounty Hunter. There's a famous clip of me getting killed by Wakaim PB. I'm sure mm, anyone nice. who likes PK remembers that. Um, so. When Dragon Claws first came out, the way that prices were done was it was all through the Grand Exchange, and obviously items. 
fries, depending on whether it was going for the top 5% or less. When they first came out, dude, oh, I sound like a robot. But is there even any point? No, 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 this, this is what happens, dude. dude. You'll be saying the oh, most hold on, hold clear on, shit, on. and then just for like okay. three seconds, hold you'll on, get redact redacted. Let, let me see That's if it. I can change <laughs> it to like uh, Russia or something. <laughs> no, I'm being, nah, where, where's Europe, <laughs> man? I don't see this shit. Singapore, like Russia, Rotterdam? I am on East Coast, yeah. Can you hear Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can yeah, hear you. It's perfect. just... Okay. Yeah, you don't, like, so, sound like a robot. It's just... You just get muted for a bit God sometimes. damn it. All right. Now you're good I'm going to speak you're directly into my mic. So, when Dragon Claws first came out, on the Grand Exchange, for some reason, they were priced... Dude, I think they were, like, 60-something thousand coins. Yeah. It was, like, under 100 KGB Dragon Claws yeah. were. You can and buy it. And the only way that you could buy it was for a trade with someone directly or the Grand Exchange. I had to do it through and forums. So. Dude, it took... Like, I just think, like, whoever would have sold claws, whoever got, like, day one claws and sold them for, like, 60k, <laughs> yeah. that was the biggest, <laughs> the biggest Dude, mistake ever. I was literally in my head, this story, because we're talking about Dragon Claws, like, should I even bring it up? But now it's perfect. So in high school, I had this guy named Thomas, and we were all in gym clothes, we are in gym, and he's, like, really sad. I'm like, hey, what's up, bro? Because uh, yeah, I just I bought Dragon Claws. You know, Dragon Claws came out. I'm like, oh yeah, dude, they, they're pretty <laughs> sick. He goes, I didn't like them, so I sold them instantly. And I'm like, aren't they like 25 <laughs> mil now? And he goes, don't don't say anything. And I just it was the most <laughs> sad high schooler for like <laughs> months, bro. Because his bank oh. was nothing. Um, oh, no. So it's just hey, it, I enjoyed it because that's just perfect with the story. Dude, that Dragon right Claws now. got me out of poverty because once I learned how to do junk trades. I would like literally do like I was doing a lot of random God Wars, like collecting as much bullshit as I could because I needed to make a big trade, you know, at some point. Right. So like I prepped all that shit and I was like risking it all for the Dragon Claws and, and like uh, I had that happened and I had to like I couldn't really sell it for like the right price. But like because like I didn't have enough junk, but I still managed to get like 70 mil off of it the first time. So I was like. I'm I'm Damn. I'm nearly back. I'm nearly back. You know, it's like how uh, what I had dude. just off one call. I, I'm really hoping. I I know they're already discussing it, and I think it's already fouled one of the polls. But there was I I think there was a poll that was like, should we move Dragon from the Cox drop table back to Tormented Demons? And I think that is a massive mistake if they were to do that. Um, they're not. I mean, do I, don't, I don't think they're. I, I I hope they don't because Dragon is a really good place value wise yeah. and i think that mm. there's probably people that didn't play back in the day when tormented demons were a f <laughs> but effectively like so me for example i was a massive pkr and staking addict and i would get cleaned all the time but my insurance backup was that my bank even if i lost like a billion gold i would always have a noit's helm a dehyde set a magic short bow a thousand rune arrows and a dragon halberd and that was all you needed to go and kill tormented demons oh. and then you'd get a mm. pair of claws and you just sell them and you just rebuild and the that's trouble crazy with you're doing that, all that kind of shit gear bro i, I yeah, had but lit, I it was good. in that gear set us no <laughs> it, it was it was literally <laughs> like a it, it was like 500k could then make you tens of mils like it mm. wasn't that hard to get dragon claws and that gear like slapped imagine doing it now with a crystal halberd like it would just be insane oh, i mean I, the prices yeah. would just the prices would just be terrible and, and there's a mm. yeah there's bad, too many sweaties th th there's too many bad things with that because claws are nice at high value it's a genuinely good item to have in not even to mention the pvp side of things if you're a pk and you pk dragon that's fucking huge that's like almost 100 mil pk if you pk dragon claws and they're dropped from tormented deep you're probably looking at like 10 to 15 mil yeah and it mm -hmm. could even plummet plus the bots are gonna have a fucking rampage oh, yeah, they, oh for sure like I, they would they would be worthless and it's just it's the bigger a point too is like it's another repeated content i think a lot of the community is just kind of getting tired of like oh it's for runescape 3 we'll just add into the game it's like maybe just not do that and i don't think it'll be the exact same they're but not, they're not. it almost feels like the exact same right if they're adding tormented demons true you know, what the, the from is, the same quest and then they want to add the same drop it's like why are you even contemplating this whole idea? Why not just do something else? I guess they just... Well, the, so here's the thing. While Guthix Sleeps is not going to be the same quest. It's just going to be the same name. Um, oh, because, really? Because, hmm. because if you've done Desert Treasure 2, right? 
you're gonna realize that they took half the storyline of wild Guthic sleep and already put it in that quest right and and so the other half that was different is that um they use a different ancient artifact right from the story right because there's there's these like god artifacts that like you know basically like make you a god right and like in wild Guthic sleeps it was the stone of jazz and in Desert Treasure 2, it was like the horn of Freneske or something. It was like a different the stone horn. Stone of jazz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Jazz, yeah. Funny? But like, but basically, they they did okay. the they took the first half of the storyline while Gothic sleeps. Uh, and normally you would find the stone of jazz right at the end of the storyline. But in Desert Treasure 2, they kind of took the you know the kind of like the searching for the ancient artifact. But then it turns out to be something different. It was the horn or whatever, right? And like so, like the Majorats that usually do something with like the stone jazz, they're now doing it with like the horn thing. So that means while Guthrie sleeps, they already said it was different. It's gonna be different. Like they don't have a choice because they they literally couldn't do it the same because they already took off. Why are they naming it Guthrie sleeps? Uh, Because it's probably a good selling point. Because it's nostalgia, yeah, bro. Yeah. Old yeah. school Ringscape True. like thrives off of nostalgia. People mm-hmm. are hyped. I'm hyped. I, I think the reason why good. they're calling Wild Gothic Sleep is because at least the last half of the quest is probably gonna be similar, right? Because by the at the end of the quest in the original game, you you find the Stone Jazz and like you know Lucian or whatever he uh you know takes it and like he summons the torment de- demons and like you have to kill him. So I think what's bro. gonna happen is that in Wild Gothic Sleep in old school Runescape, it's probably you're gonna will find the stone jazz by the end of it except something different might happen basically dude and you they, will they probably see gothics yeah they could use this as a great time to implement like another you, you know the corrupted gauntlet like this could be mm. like a hunlith v2 like a massive augmented demon like a balrog from lord of the rings it could be like this badass fucking demon that you have to kill Emo and demon. you know <laughs> it could still kind of look the same but like the, you everybody always gets boss. stuck on what the drop yeah, like one drop, it's like an instance. You go in, you fight a boss, and it's mm. like some insane boss with like yeah. mechanics and stuff like that. That would be really cool. What the drops would be is a very different question because, like, you know, it's well, always a struggle. They're going to do the the, co- the God Commandments stuff. So they're going to do the Guthix mm. stuff in while Guthix sleeps. Uh, but I think there's they probably need to, you know, give some more stuff on top of that. And that's kind of like mm. the question what yeah. would that be? That's yeah. why I'm scared, because if they're asking, hey, maybe you put the dragon claws near, to me that kind of goes, what the fuck do we put on this drop table? I mean, it's like, that's yeah, what yeah, it feels like to me. It's like, it's, should it, we? It, like... To, to, be quite, to be quite honest, I feel like the dragon is a bit of a cop-out, to be honest. Dragon with claws? You. Is that what I, you said? I think that it would be very convenient for them, for the community to say yes, but like, there's a lot of reasons why I believe dear. I think they're going to have to think outside the box, but to go back, did you say that with Wall Guthic Sleep, they're going to be giving us the new free prayers from Guthic, Zamorok, and oh, No, Guthic, just Guthic, I think. Oh, okay. Because Is that they're something gonna be I should be scared about? Or? <laughs> nah, not really, because it's still regular prayer books. They just, they're just going to let you choose some additional ones, depending on the god that they you... That sounds scary. What, yeah. what do you mean additional prayers? Like, do like we a know few. now? Or no, we don't. We don't know what they are yet. But basically, uh, there's going to be yeah. like four of them, four types, and but like... Like as far as we know, they want to do like Desert Treasure, some of them from Desert Treasure 2 that you get. And then uh while Guthix Sleeps might give you like the Guthix ones. There's a few, but we don't know what they are. So it's still like very a work in progress. You know, they don't have anything mm-hmm. set in stone yet. So what are the rewards? I, I don't know. I'm devil's advocate. I uh, I don't think it needs to happen. I wouldn't say I I I will be negative about it. I'm never negative about PVM updates. I always want people to enjoy more content, but uh, you know, I'm I'm not sold, but maybe that's just me. Yeah, little, me neither. Uh, I don't think I'm sold. But but yeah. here here's the thing to make it a little bit sound more balanced is that you can only choose one of them at a time. You can't have all of them, all the mm-hmm. all the gods, new gods prayers. I have once. to see how it changes the game and what the drop table is. And if the yeah. quest Dude. is like difficult, difficult, I'll just still yeah, be angry because I know I have to do it. So, it'll, like, it'll probably be the yeah. most difficult quest ever. We we were I'm talking about this on my stream the other day. The prayers if. The prayers could have a potential to impact and change the game in a good way. It could be an incredibly different meta if they wanted to. So, like, when you think about the free gods, right? Obviously, you think of Zami. Zami is the rest. It's the bad guy of the lore, right? Saradoman's like the righteous, you know, they're righteous, but they're also willing to get their hands dirty. 
and fuck those Zami people up. And then you've also got Guthix, which is like the peaceful, like nature and stuff like that. So I think it would make sense, right? Zami obviously would be a DPS prayer book. Saradoma would also be the same, but have support roles to it. And then Guthix could potentially be like a complete, like it could just be utility stuff. Like it could be something like, have this Tank prayer on, or and you might get extra yeah. herbs from you, your pack. You're or, scaring or, me, bro, because I'm thinking three Grandmaster quests now in our future. Yeah. I, I don't like oh, the yeah. sound of that, dude. Absolutely. No, they're they're definitely going to keep doing that. Yeah, bro. Have you, did you guys do De uh, Desert Treasure 2 without like day one? Did you I, do did. I did. Day I, one. I did it day one. I did. I waited. That's, oh. that's a lot of brain power. <laughs> yeah. That shadow area, bro. I was yelling at my chat, and these poor yeah, bastards yeah. didn't do anything. Oh. They're just trying to help. I'm like, give me the answers, bro. bro I I do. I this love, shit. It's been I six hours, that. and Dude, I'm wandering I... around in the shadows. I'm tired, and then I go fight the boss. It wipes me four times. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna throw Dude, something. Dude, no, that was my favorite part of the quest, man. The shadow realm thing. I was like, wow, this it is was so confusing. Cool. I, I, I got the new tools and I used it. Rice doesn't get confused. His mind's just too big. No, right? I hated the <laughs> Garak prison one, dude, because those were like Morse code stuff. I'm like, bro, I don't know this stuff. Mm. Like, how am I going to solve this? I think the icy Garak prison one next to the Phantom. That one sucked. I didn't like that I one. Per I personally felt that one was like the most straightforward. I actually got on with that one okay. It was, yeah, it's I because if your brain is one. trained to like identify those type of money puzzles. Yeah. Then it's like my brain, I don't do those type of puzzles ever, you know? So, but it was like the shot was really Well, fun. the real problem is that Muspa exists from that quest. So, overall, all of it's garbage now. Because if there was any boss that shouldn't exist in this game, I think that would be Muspa. I don't think there's a reason <laughs> for that to exist. You hate Muspa? <laughs> Dude, why does anyone like it? No, I know. I no, I'm, it I'm just saying, lore like, wise. Been like, it, it, oh, dude, it's a nice Tuesday. Let's go farm some muspa for Nary. <laughs> no, I don't farm <laughs> it. Never. It, no. yeah, but it's easy to kill, isn't it? Like you just fucking kill it. Uh, like, it's it's, not, sure, it's not, not slow. It's it's slow to kill. It's all right. Mm. I mean, oh god, just. Right. <laughs> what does it even? How much are the Venator shards? Like ten mil or something? Like it's yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, it's better than Zora probably. Like in terms of GP, I'd guess. Yeah, uh, not everything's better than Zora now, dude. They nerfed the fuck out of that <laughs> boss, dude. True, <laughs> dude. I I miss the day. I've not killed Zora in like probably three years. I did it the other day on my um my new account for the Western Hard Provinces, and I just got it. Like it's so muscle memory. It's like riding a bike for me. I could literally do it probably without paying like hardly any attention at all i'd love to just switch my brain off and farm that boss but mm. uh, yeah the gp's not supposed to be good yeah yeah see must but you gotta turn your brain on but then you gotta be bored so it's like you gotta be there <laughs> but you're not you're not mm. having fun it's like the dmv but if you had to do puzzles it's like ah oh, it's just a gross combination dude. That's awesome yeah <laughs> I don't know, i'm just a hater i'm sorry or i'm mm. just a hater bro. You, you just gotta lean you gotta embrace the PM, man like i've I feel like recently I've really started to appreciate more and more PVM. Dude, you like, were the 15th Inferno Cape or some shit. You've always embraced PVM, dude. All dude, right. The 15th or 8th in, or whatever. Dude, put it in the archives, man. That has to go into a video one day. Yep. That does, dude. Another I'm archive true. moment, bro. True. I think <laughs> I have the only video footage of killing the chicken random event on youtube <laughs> yeah. No, oh, yeah yeah no chance i Maybe think so because i looked it up and i found my video and i was like what and i looked around it was like no one else and i was just farming it like just some new horrible hyper cam quality just in the background yeah, there's no know, chance bro the, the yeah. evil chicken has been out for like the longest time bro like look, since the beginning look of the let game. me know if there's more dude because there could be a couple more but if not <laughs> I'll check it out yeah he's got like two terabytes of evil chicken clips or something. <laughs> right just only evil Re chicken, remember yeah. he's looking for high quality too you know because th those Dude, it's not high quality you know, b-rolls gotta it be high quality man. garbage quality bro <laughs> by the way if you guys want to hear something kind of interesting which like just so happens to benefit benefit me like tremendously out of nowhere i've recently made a zerker I'm playing on this account called Cozy Club, and they've just so happened to release a blog, and the, the poll is passed, where it was like, shall we make the chivalry prayer accessible for oh. 45 defense? And I think possibly pures as well. I'm not 100% on the pures, but... Oh my pure. god, dude, for pures? But oh dude, like, I, like, I'm just gonna throw this out there, right? 
that to me, and I obviously have a bias that now I have a Zerker, but <laughs> what an amazing way to like reignite usage for something that already exists but has mm -hmm. no use because Speaking every single person who's completed the king's ransom quest they may use chivalry for like you know a day or so until they get the bones for piety but it's probably one of the most unused prayers on the prayer book like it's useless but get this if it goes on to a zerker it's an insane quality of life update for us because now we don't have to click still skin ultimate strength and incredible reflexes we can just click one button and i i think the dps increase they said was something three like percent maybe four it's a very small amount of dps you get one max but, it. <clears throat> wait what was that say that no, again you get like one max it yeah and but the nice thing about it is like so right now as a zerker if i end up getting into a fight with a medla that has 70 prayer i literally lose by default like they have piety I have ultimate strength. I'm dead. Like, there's very little you can do in that circumstance, and it just comes down to they have way more DPS. They're basically going to win. Whereas this is just a tiny little bit of DPS boost that makes mm -hmm. the account just a little bit stronger. And, like, I don't know if there's many Zerkers that play now, but for me, that's, like, incredibly exciting. And a really yeah. good way to utilize Speaking an old thing that's just not being used. rejuvenating old content. You're, you're making amazing mm. points, bro, because it's, it's crazy how just a small little change can really reignite a whole niche. Now, of course, the underlying problem is there's nothing to do, even if you have a Zerker, right? You're just going to wander around revs and stuff. But at least you'll do it with <laughs> chivalry, and you'll hit a little bit higher, right? Yep. But that bro. that is yeah. so cool, man. Hey. I just, I'm just a little salty. I How want about to do uh, there. Yeah, how about like trouble brewing you know like like that mini game or, mm, or let's put the... it in the wild so no one will do it <laughs> well I no guess. one no one does it other than the fact that it's a stupid collection log you know like, exactly but what it, it, what, oh. wouldn't it be nice if they revamped that shit Dude. you know so that you can actually no, you know nice? same thing. thing yeah Yo, okay imagine me, this yeah. once a year we all come together the community Cook and off. we delete one thing <laughs> oh Cook my off. god <laughs> i'd do it but we just delete one thing just one oh. thing we all agree this shit sucks and is just gone, bro. <laughs> Dude. All right, the, the first petition, your name's going on. <laughs> it's, just, it's just like agility or ban Mitmat Cow forever. Yeah, it just wins yeah, by yeah, 90% yeah. votes. 99.999%. Rakes, he's like, voted yes, promotes it on his channel and shit, bro. Like, we the can do it, chat. one person that voted no, it's Mint. I'll be, I'll, be, I'll be like, I'm at the Grand Exchange, 318. Prove that you voted to ban him. I will give you 10 mil. Trade me after you send a screenshot. But wouldn't that be People a used true? To do that. Dude, was it? Who was it? I think I feel what? like it might. I don't, I don't know if it was Spark Mac or someone, but someone yeah, used right, to like really pay people to vote certain things. In I can't remember who it was. Somebody was paying their community for all of the votes, like on certain things. It was. I'm sure it was something. It to got do with bad, it. dude. I, I remember a lot of people. I won't name any, but that would just be like, vote this, vote that, and they they would pay or they promote it. They put them in a clan and they ban people who didn't. It's just. That's it was like amazing. almost like modern day politicians, you know? <laughs> yeah. It's just, yeah, that's just, oh God. I couldn't but even imagine, dude. I'm just saying, though, if we're truly a community built game, right? Wouldn't <laughs> that be what a community should do? Is just come together and go, yeah, Trouble Brewing probably shouldn't be in the game. Let's just go ahead and delete that. Or maybe the Agility Pyramid, which honestly is pretty sick, but there's plenty on the game that I would, you know, once a year wouldn't even be that big of a change you know 10 years from now maybe right but oh, i mean trouble so brewing sick. trouble brewing really is just an example of like a meaningless activity that people do because they want to do the collection log and it's yeah. like there's yeah. really not much point to it at all what so. about no like uh it's this shit in karumja where you gotta chop dense bush like what if they just took that away oh, what if they took that whole I village away dude up. Yeah. Maybe they just deleted that whole island, really. Sorry, Verf, but that <laughs> island sucks dick, bro. <laughs> True. <laughs> I mean, there is, like, some actual function achievement diary for Kramja, so, I mean, it's like, at least there's something there, right? Dude, I, what I if we know, deleted achievement couple, bro. diaries, bro? Oh, my yes. God, the game would be better. I, I need those lamps, though, for my iron. I don't <laughs> yeah, know. Dude, <laughs> Uh, Nella, what would you delete from RuneScape, dude? If you if you had the power to delete one thing, that's a. I mean, I'd at the. I think I want to see Trouble Brewing like revamped. Like you know, yes, now they're doing please. sailing. Change it so it's much. like a pirate mini game. Yes. You know? Yes. Yeah. Maybe I'd be sick. get some sailing XP in it. I don't Yo, know. I was thinking <laughs> now. Now that Maybe. you've really like 
you know, uh, giving me this crazy idea. What if, you know how like a big part of the sale that they're trying to pitch is that you're going to be transporting goods, right? Across the, mm. you know, and of course, you know, pirates. You've been watching Arcos? Love, uh, you know, alcohol and shit, right? And, and dude, we're and literally shit. in a freaking pirate island, Rum. you know? Right? right. So what if they, re you know, reformat the mini game so that you actually make meaningful freaking drinks that you can like then, you, you know, make yourself and like transport boost? it. Yeah, yeah, and like you can transport <laughs> yeah. it because it's like a you know, there's a shipment that that some pirates over on the other side of the sea want some of these booze, and you made that shit. It's like you know, like eighty cooking or whatever. It's like bangers, right? And then you make it. You get the you get the points from the mini game, and you can just trade it. And get saying speed, right? Like that'd be sick. Why, why don't they? Yeah. I mean, have you seen those God, uh, crazy. movies where they make drugs and they got the little drug den? Everyone's like bikinis or butt naked, just making like hardcore drugs. That's what. That's what uh, the new thing is. You just go downstairs. Everyone's <laughs> yeah, butt naked. I mean, dude, it's a They're pirate. Just counting cash and it's stuff. Sailing. Right. It's a pirate island. The whole quest, like un until you get there, it's literally pirate themed, and you're literally sailing and like invading another pirate ship and shit you know in the quest right like dude you, you gotta tie it all in man with sailing that'd be perfect mm, perfect I'm chance bad. to re reformat this stupid ass mini game because i i don't know it's like afk and stuff whatever but it has no it has no soul you know like you know it's I'm just pretty... that same video on youtube the tutorials just getting watched by some poor bastard every day just like how do you even do this they just pop up some like mr mammal guy bro that's the just... thing you don't do you you literally don't do the mini game right all you do right yeah. now is you you fill buckets a hundred times or something and then you afk the last 19 minutes that's all you do no one i don't even know how to play the mini game i, I just yeah. know how to get points that's it it's so that's fucking dumb leagues dude. Literally just Dude. filled it up and then sat there. Yeah, it's so stupid. Yeah. I really wanted to learn, but like it, there was no instructions, no nothing. I didn't like there were so many things that you didn't even know how to interact with it. So it was so dumb. So they, they gotta really know. redo well, that shit. Maybe maybe it is a good thing. I was just gonna say yeah. they are very change stuff. Very what? Cool. <laughs> you know what? Sorry, bro. As soon as you explain it, it's just no. that. don't don't even worry. It's about it. it's <laughs> comical, dude. Because you'll be explaining some, and we won't hear. The most important part. We'll hear everything else. It doesn't right. happen that often, though. It doesn't yeah, only yeah. like once a minute, maybe. It's yeah. done. It's done. Sorry. Oh I'm no! I'm looking forward I need to, to Valamore. That's yeah. really good, dude. I can't What's wait. What's that again? Bro. Someone give me the rundown on that. You don't know about Valamore, yo, Colin? Uh, you know, you know. If it's not, yeah, Valmore, it's like a it. big like Zaya expansion. Um, there's Hunter's Guild, uh, Coliseum. That looks cool. Oh, the PVM Coliseum. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I can see yeah. Rice just living there, dude. Just mm. have you ever played zombies? It's like that for Rice. Oh. Dude. Just like eighty hours in, shits in a bucket, still breaking <laughs> records, bro. No, I'm not that funny. Luke's yeah, is next to him, eighty one hours in. Whoever dies at the computer first loses, you know. Oh. <laughs> yeah, there's also uh, uh Perilous Moon, which is another boss that not many people know about. They think Perilous Moon is just Coliseum, but it's not. They're actually two separate things. All together. Oh, really? But um, but the Coliseum is where you get like the the new best assault range cape, the Desana oh, Quiver. quiver or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. And and uh, so so if you reach like the cannon like last wave and you beat the you know cannon last wave, then you get it. But the thing is, there is no real ending. Uh, in okay, the I was challenge. about to say, mm. you better just keep going. Dude. Yeah, yeah, because you can prestige and just go again, and then like I after. Really... Yeah, and Sorry. after a while, they'll unlock some new difficulties too. But like, technically, you can keep prestiging, and I'm assuming it's like you know with your with the same inventory you brought in from the beginning, and you can prestige and prestige until you die. And that you give do you like, like a your... level one account, and then just like make a whole series like uh, dude, what's that, that movie, dude, with that uh, Marcus Aurelius, bro, and he and he's a uh, like three hundred. Or gladiator. You should yeah. do like a gladiator series, bro, where you start out and you just gotta keep surviving until you're maxed. Is that you get XP? I, I'm I guess, sure they will, sure, but they yeah. they absolutely need to have a, a big high scores outside. They do. It's called but, the yeah. uh, Grace okay. or something. All right, that's yeah. great, I, yeah. dude. I'm I'm looking forward to Valamore for like I'm looking forward to that. But there's something else that I'm, really, and that's actually the aesthetics and architecture of the actual city itself mm -hmm. because Agreed. they're basically making it into like it, it's like a massive grand like harbor and i'm i'm sure as hell that's going to tie into sailing in 
because why wouldn't they? yeah they already said be... that too they already literally said yeah. that which will be in the video they're like saying like it'll connect with sailing or something it'll be one of yeah. like the big ports well i mean i know back in the roman days they would host sailboats in the Colosseum or whatever and they would have sailing fights to yeah. prepare for sea navels is that what you're talking about because how else would that connect well no 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 because it's a harbor the, the city so you just arrive there well, yeah, no, it's no, just the deal. Just pull up on your shit, man. The okay, city I guess where that's a, the city I guess that's yeah. integrated. Yeah, the city where the Colosseum is is next to the uh, ocean. Okay. Like, so there's the, like the a main, giant harbor. Yeah. So it's just yeah, near yeah. a port. It's not really sailing. Then it's just near water, is what you're well, saying. Well, no, no. There's like yeah, a but... giant harbor in the. <laughs> I thought city. it was integrated, dude. I thought they were having like duels with boats and shit. Oh no, no, no I doubt no. that. That would like be that. sick too. No, no. He's right? saying in the city though. There is a harbor where yeah. it will be a big like sailing hub. No, I, I, so. I think this information is gotcha, good enough. Gotcha. He needs to go and no, he no. needs to go and do some research and see for himself. Yeah, and one v one me chats right now, bro. I'll mock you. There's practice. the boss that nobody, not many people know. It's called well, it's like the place is called Perilous Moon, and it's it's like Aztec, uh, you know, Native mm -hmm. American, Southern Native American theme area. Sick. Yeah, that sounds. For cool. some reason, the dwarves live there too, but like all these like you know bosses from underground, like they don't like it. They're like it's a ghost or something. They're like spirits or something. But like yeah, you gotta like you gotta like put them to sleep or something because you can't kill them. But like once you do that, you get like uh, rewards. It's like barrows where you have to like. Go, Ooh, on, really? go into a crypt dungeon oh. thing and it like loads maps and you kind of have to like you know the maps are a little different every time like the is this is this the rewards for like the med level yeah, like yeah, pandos yeah. armor the strength yeah, armor yeah it's like about. the stuff between uh barrels and god wars items yeah it be obsidian no obsidian is like no i guess 40, it's not tanky 30. i was just thinking strength bonus but oh uh, no, it, no, know, no 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 it has all three it's range magic and and melee okay yeah. do you know what okay. the defense requirements for that armor is I off think, the top of your head i think it's like probably 70 oh really? yeah or like 60 mm -hmm. yeah He's they didn't about zerk again yeah yeah, yeah. no or it's it, definitely yeah. <laughs> uh in the 60 70 range yeah okay uh, as I was, as far as i'm aware yeah because the right. stats on those things are crazy. It's better, like it's straight up better. Like it's like God, uh, it's like God Wars stats, basically. I mean, yeah, it's, I probably, it's probably about time, man. Because God mm -hmm. Wars came out in what, like two thousand and seven. It's like slightly weaker eight? than yeah. like Bandos and stuff. But like the magic set is straight up better than Barrels. You know what I mean? The range set straight up better than D High. Yeah. I hope our rims always has like a so. And I've always loved our rims. It's like one of my favorite. <laughs> So that was the worst one, bro. <laughs> All right, I'm done. All right, listen, I think I think it's best that one of you uh, do the outro. If I'm if I'm just slipping out of all, yeah. all the time, I think yeah. it might just be your mic not catching certain uh, dude decibels or something. Bro, 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 bro. It is one hundred percent. It's Discord. It's it Discord. is Discord. Dude. Weird. I've never no seen it do that. It's because you guys are over there in America, and then I'm over here in the land of free. So there's a big <laughs> ocean between the two. Didn't of them. we mm. get free from you guys? I don't think that's how that works, uh, bro. Y'all uh, trying mm, to take us and we dump your tea. That's what we told you. That's what we made you. <laughs> but, right. Anyways, Colnet, dude, I can't say your name. Coleno. That's okay. Oh, Nobody can. Yeah. Dude, yeah, no, it's been I a pleasure. Know, man. It's been a pleasure having you on. The conversation's been great, actually. I've really been talking about history and stuff with you. Um, we're gonna <laughs> leave your YouTube info, everything down below. Is there anything? to say to end off on um no i guess just thank you for having me this was great yeah dude honestly yo we, you know if we ever do a round two guys in the comments you know put some suggestions down maybe like a certain uh event in time in runescape that you want to learn about maybe we can like bring mr nello back for like some more in-depth like uh historical you know analyses you know where he talks about it because i'm sure he's he knows yeah yeah, oh, yeah. all right all right okay we're gonna Catch you guys another day. Uh, yeah. Are you still? <laughs>